Welcome back, everybody, to Waterdeep Dragon Heist. This is episode six or seven. I actually don't know. But, uh, yeah. We're organized here. We're very organized here <laughs> on the Arcane Arcade. Um, thanks for joining us for this next episode, where the party delves into Grawlhund Villa. Not Grawlhund. Thank you, Waterdeep uh, oh, uh, pronunciation guy at the beginning of the book. It's Grawlhund. Please don't get mad at me for pronunciation. Wow, what an idiot. You, uh, you've already been lampooned. I'm sorry. I'll be better. Time you better be. Time works differently when you're on YouTube. You've already been. That's true. Actually, as so, of now, yeah. when this video is out, there's probably a bunch of people who are like, you disappointed. We haven't seen any of it yet. You shouldn't yeah. have been born. All right. So, <clears throat> you guys approach Grawlhund Villa. Do you need a recap? I cut the recaps out. We're good. All right. Uh, yeah, no. Um, we, like, I, I just found out that they didn't know that the guy was there, right? Or at least the guard didn't know that the guy was there. What guy? Uh, the, the guard. Uh, the, the gentleman we are the one The one we're looking for. I can't remember his name at the moment. Let me find it. Erstel Floxen? Yes, Erstel Floxen. The Fluxen, necromancer. Yeah, the guard didn't know that he was there, and he was going to tell... The, was he yes. a guard? And he was... Huh? Was because uh, I, I charmed I charmed him and then the charms probably one off. Well, that was a day ago. Yes, of course. So that was earlier in the day. So uh, Raynar has talked to some of the nobles that mm. he's accustomed with, and has allowed the guards to kind of disappear uh, from that street. Oh. Uh, to take the night off. Yes. Um. Just to give you guys some information, Raynar does not control the guards. Raynar just has high friends in high places. Um, it's good that you know him. If I'm just letting you guys know, here's a bit of a pretense. If guards catch you, you're still caught. He, there's no like, oh, Raynar told us we could do this. Mm -hmm. All he's doing is removing them so that you don't get caught. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Which is just as good as... You guys make your way over to the street. It's very quiet. Um, there's barely anybody around. There's maybe a few people down the street. Um, Next to the villa are other buildings, other other villas, other mansions. Their lights are on, and there are people who still live there. It still re will require some stealth to make your way into the villa. As you make your way towards the outside of it, the middle of the upper-class residential neighborhood in the North Ward, the streets around the, vidil, uh, the villa are pretty quiet. The estate is enclosed by a 12-foot high stone wall that uh, you can try to climb over. Would I be correct to assume that my dice are seated next to you? Mm -hmm. You would be correct. <laughs> nice. Easy roller dice. Easy thrower dice. <laughs> oh, easy shit. throwing dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Bombay. easy you can throw them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so easy you can throw them. <laughs> that sounds like bootleg material. <laughs> <laughs> so throw you can easy. <laughs> You guys are outside the gate and the walls. There is a gate that leads inwards. From beyond the gate, you can see a the villa itself. It's two stories. There's a balcony, and there is a few doors. If you guys look at the map, um, the very front gate towards the north, um, that's where you'd be looking in. Okay. You can see inside that there is a garden. It's very beautiful. It's got lots of flowers, trees, uh, well-trimmed bushes. And uh, it's this yard that sits out in the front there. What are you guys doing? Okay, so last time with Minecraft, what I did is I went uh, up about over here. Are um, we to the north of the building right now? Yes. Okay. Yes, we're up here. Okay. Can we still assume that we're whispering, but we're just going to talk at normal? Yes. Yeah, please I went, do that. I went. I went over here, and uh, and then I just took a point to my grapple and my rope, and and we're going to climb a wall. Yeah, and climb over right there. I did it just fine, like, three hours ago. Not my preference, but if it's what we have to do... Um, unless, I uh, look, are there, um, I'll, like, kind of peek through the gate. Are there a lot of people walking around? You look inside, um, beyond the gate, no. There is one, the, the man you met earlier, a menacing-looking groundskeeper. Mm -hmm. Um, he stands keeper. there and he has two mastiffs next to him. And they can just kind of sit quietly as he puts his back up against the wall and he's just kind of keeping an eye out. What do you see? Uh, just 
the man that probably knows that I cast a spell on him about three hours ago. That would be an issue. <laughs> I could do it again, though, and then, but we'd only have an hour at that point to do our job. But I figure if it takes longer than an hour, we've probably failed anyways. Is he alone? He has his dogs, but they're, I mean, they'll listen to him. I don't believe that's how canines work. Uh, I can try putting him to sleep and the dogs, too. That could work. That would And then if you fail to put him to sleep or put the dogs to sleep, I could try charming him again. That works. Cool. So we'll we'll jump we'll jump the wall and then try to put him to sleep. Take the lead. Cool. So I'll go back over to where I did it uh, last game and okay. I'll do my grapple. Alright. So uh, make I didn't make your roll last time, so I won't do it again. But um you throw it over, and uh, are you wanting to grab it on the edge of the wall? Yeah, to clink on, so that you can, so that you can like kind of use it to climb up. All right, uh, you have you have thrown the grapple over onto the other side. The rope holds. Um, are you Lucy right now? Yeah. So, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm Uncle Ben. You're Uncle Ben right now. Mm -hmm. so, He's just an old man. Yeah. Right, you're Ben and me right now. So we should we should probably go first ben because we're the ones with the spells. Oh, okay. Yes. Alright, um, I'll go I'll go first, or do you want to go first, because you'll be the one casting sleep? Uh, you can go first and then help me up in case I don't make it over. Okay. I am just an old man. Well, how, how, how wide is the wall? Like, would I be able to perch up onto it if, uh... Um, the wall is... Yeah, you could stand on it. It's not super thick, maybe about a foot. So you okay. can't stand on it, but it's not. Like, I wouldn't have a great standing, but if you like started to fall all the way down, I could at least try to catch you. Okay. Um, cool. I'll climb up and like perch up onto that. Uh, all right, make an athletics check. Natural twenty. Oh. Very cool. You're like, all right, I will do that. You grab onto That's one end and you just kind of hoist yourself. You push with your legs and you like two swift motions. You t um, size over the wall. You're like, I don't even need the rope. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna kind of stay up there and then, come on. All right, I'm gonna head up. Is there any way I can do this with acrobatics? Like, you want to swing yourself up? Mm. I'm trying to think, was any other way? No, oh, that was athletics. Yeah, it's athletics oh, to climb. Know. Okay. Because you're you're pulling yourself up is what you're doing. You're gonna have it. I didn't give you advantage. You'll have advantage because he does have the rope. There. Okay. I was gonna say, is it just like a flat wall? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing I can like bounce in between. Uh, you can try to climb it just on your own. There's some cobble and some rivets you could try to put your hand into, but that'd just be a normal roll. It would still be athletics. Mm -hmm. I'll try and swing to see if I can like propel myself up. Okay, make an ac acrobatics check. Okay. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> oh my, gosh. my other roll is a nineteen. Um, okay. Great. You Seymour for some really reason is I like swinging is uh, climbing is overrated. So you, you <laughs> grab the rope, you kind of tie it around your arm, and you, uh, you grab onto it, you push, and you like pivot yourself one way, and you swing uh, to the left, you swing to the right, and then uh, on a final push, you do a flip, and you land right next to Ira, dropping the, the, the rope down to the ground. Show off. Did you like, whisper that up? Good job. And then I'll like, and drop down into okay. that bush again. All right. Come on. So you both are heading in? Yeah, you two yeah. are staying outside? Yeah. Both of you need to make stealth checks. As I'm, as I'm going to go down, I'll say, you guys come in about, like, half a minute. Stealth check. Two. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a 23. Very nice. 14. You gracefully drop down below the shade of the trees that are over the wall. Uh, Seymour kind of does a little tumble and a fall, but he's still very quiet. Okay, so you gotta try, and then, and then I'll do it if that doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, how far away is the guy and his dogs? He is... Is it raining right now? Uh, no, it's not raining. Okay. He is, um... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 feet away from you. You okay. notice right next to the, the gate... Uh, there's a, the pathway leads down to the south, um... Yeah, actually, southwest. can you tell us where we are on this map? Yes, so... We're on the you, top. You see where the gate is, right? Yeah. Literally ten feet away from it, where that, like, big 
thing of trees is. Okay. That's where you guys are. Okay. He is up against the wall, directly south from you. Okay. The one that has a door? Yes. And there's the, a the corner. Door? He's like right next to the corner. Okay. <clears throat> the double door, right? Not the single yes, door? Yes, but he's not near the double door. He's near on the, the other side of it. Okay. It has a range of 90 corner. feet, so... Uh, you, you are in range. Yeah. And it ha- it's a 20-foot sphere. Okay. Roll so, those hit dice. Um, as he's, a sleep spell. As he's doing that, I'll edge forward so that if uh, that fails, I can... Charm person. All the All right. roads clear. They're not completely clear. There are maybe a few pedestrians 60, 90 feet away. Mm-hmm. They're not looking at you, but they're is, there. Is 60, 90 feet away inside the villa or outside of the villa? Outside. There's nobody inside nobody the villa inside. except for this guy. I'm going to use my hat of disguise to completely shift myself to pitch black. Just silhouetted. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> no, we'll you take that. on a very dark skin, um, uh, dark hair, uh, dark clothing. Just you're like not like type. like you know, Vanta black. Yeah. But you're you're very shrouded. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Give you uh, advantage on your stealth check. Thank you. Uh, just to let you guys know, there are neighbors. Uh, they aren't necessarily looking, but if a loud noise were to happen, could yep. alert them. Yep. What but, race is this guy? He is a human. Okay. Someone falling asleep, however. That's not too, uh... That's not too loud. That's pretty good. Has our time passed? Yes. And then when it's, been a, it's been about 6, 12 seconds. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, this isn't real time. We had to describe it. Did you actually all, they, count all they've done is fallen and cast it, cast it a spell. There's the game, and then there's math. Uh, 41. <laughs> Tori. 41? Yeah, it was really good rolls. Whoa! Don't worry. Spencer read a lot of books on math. <laughs> Dude! So dogs first. Then the guy. So What'd you get? 41. You that is incredible. Wow. Seymour, how does this what does this spell look like? The sleep spell? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming it's like a fog almost. I mean, I, I imagine explain. I imagine like Jigglypuff. Yeah, it doesn't explain. It. Like <laughs> it's just, just starts just, singing. Oh, it's, I'm thinking it's a like pinch of fine sand, sand, rose petals, or a cricket. Fine so, sand. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you like pocket sand. Yeah. <laughs> 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 throws his pocket sand forward and begins to wisp into the wind and slowly make its way over and it kind of like uh, comes to life and it begins to seep its way into um, the nose of the man and into the dogs. They all begin to flutter their eyes. The, the dogs hmm, start fall. They just kind of fall to the ground asleep and uh, the man's like hey, grabs on. He like falls onto the ground and he just all three of them are completely asleep. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, do we need the whistle for them, or how are we getting them? I don't okay. have 30 seconds. I'll be down soon. All right, fast forward. Well, this All is right. exciting. It's been about 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, we can go. I'll take the lead. An athletics check? Mm-hmm. 18. Easy enough. You grab onto the side, and you, you know, hoist yourself up, and you make your way over to the top. Okay. All right. Do I have advantage because there's a rope, or...? Yes, you have advantage on the athletics check. Uh, 18. Uh, you as well, just very gracefully pull yourself up very quickly. The two of you, I'm assuming, drop, mm-hmm. make stealth checks. 17. 16. Perfect. You guys drop on your way down. Uh, Everybody is now inside the walls with the sleeping groundskeeper. Fantastically done, guys. That's, that's good. So I'll there are many ways to go, which you guys, you guys can see. You can make your way further into the yard. Um, those square rectangles are doors. Um, so I don't know exactly where the the head of the manor would be, but um, maybe maybe it would be uh, uh, that entrance, kind of the caddy cornered entrance. Well, I have my assumptions that further into the building would be the main rooms. So to the sides, you can guess are either additional entrances or bedrooms. Yeah, but you know, um, you know, they didn't. The, the, the groundskeeper, the guard, he said he had never seen or heard of an Erstal Floxen. You would think he would have it's at least... Have you me. heard of an alias? Mm-hmm. Yes, but like even with a slight description, they didn't seem to know. Um, with a slight description? Yes, it's, well, it's possible that maybe he's here hiding and no one knows he's here, so maybe we should check the smaller rooms first. Well, we are here to weed him out, so I would agree. And we also don't want to waltz into a public event. Very true. Um, Jacob. Yes. Uh, 
so the spell says that you have to the sleeper doesn't wake up until they take damage or someone uses an action I was to, about to, look that up. to shake or sleep them or shake or slap them Okay. Uh, does that mean like if I were to try and pick them up, would that wake them up, or does it have to be like an intentional? It really? says no, try can, to shake. You them. can wake. You can. You can go pick them up. Let's okay. say you know the boundaries of your own spell. You could likely go wake them up as long as you don't drop them. You, you they'll stay asleep. Uh, okay. <laughs> does it last for only a minute? Uh, I think so. That's it. That's what the duration is. All right. Um. You've got anywhere between now and a minute before this dude wakes up. Uh, How long does the spell last? Uh, usually only a minute, so we've got to kind of be quick about this. Do we need to be quick, or do we need? To and then be I'm going to go over to the. Uh, we could just go into this closest room. Further door. Which door is the like further he, door? Like he's in the corner. We're gonna go north and then east. What? Okay, so you're dude, you're going right further into the yard. The dude was down here. I'm going up there. The the closest. Door to the north, like the center north door. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So. The one closest to that big blob of trees. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's down in that corner over there. Yeah. Right. All right. Yes, I understand what you mean. Uh, uh, um, I'll, should I go first? I can pick the lock if it's yeah. the lock. Yes. All right. So I'll with make haste. my way over. Right, so you're not doing anything with the lock. I want to search his body. <laughs> okay. You right. search his body. And then I'll be making my way over and getting you to pick a lock. Um, in case it's locked. You find uh, Maybe looking for keys. Four or... silver. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. And he does not have anything else on him. No weapons? Um uh, No spell focuses. Hang on. He might have a dagger actually. He does. He has a dagger. I'm not gonna take it off him. If that's, okay. if that's the only good he's idea. Got, he's got a dagger and he's got some silver. That's I'll, I'll even leave the silver on. Okay. Cool. So I'm going over that door and I'm going to check for uh, lock. Is it locked? I'm, I'm not gonna check for traps because I just assume, you know, the front door to what is probably a home. Oh, is okay. Not, well, what what does this door look like? Like what what does it look, look like? Does it like I'm looking like. At the front of a home? Stone building, um, and it looks like it's going to head into a room. Okay. This part is one story. There is no two-story area on top of this. Uh, I'll, I'll just do, like, a quick check. This is, like, a side building off of the building. Okay. I'll just do a quick check for traps. Like, I'm not, like... Make a, a perception check. Okay. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> 12. It doesn't look trapped. All right. And then I'll check the door. It's open. It's open. Mm-hmm. Peek in. As I slowly open it. You peek your way into a room, and it's as big as the one you see right there. You see a door to the right, but in this room is what looks like guard barracks. There are a bunch of beds. Oh shit. Um, lock boxes at the end of beds. There's about twenty beds. There's nobody in here, however. Okay. You guys and there's a door to the far end, right? I will uh, yes, there are also mannequins in the room, which freak you out at first. You're like, oh, but they're mannequins, yeah, and they're I'll, completely bare. I'll wave you guys in. Yeah, I'm assuming we're all, like, yeah. stealthily going. Yep. You make your way inside, uh, and you shut the door behind you. Are the lock boxes filled? You go over and check. Uh, the foot, they're foot lockers. Mm-hmm. The foot lockers contain folded clothes and... Um, Pictures of loved ones, papers, writing utensils, um, um, bags. The bags have nothing in them. I for detail. Okay. I'm make a perception check to spot anything hidden. My rolls are amazing as always. So I got a 12. There's nothing hidden in this room. Um, there is a door to the south, which you can mm-hmm. see, and then a little door to the uh, west there that leads into a smaller room. Should I check this door here? That's likely the armory. Well, there might be something worth taking. We should make haste. Yes, of course. I will make haste through the armory then. And I'll check for traps. Uh, check for traps. Uh, Twelve again. The door does not look trapped. Right. You're getting an idea, um, just because you're smart enough to figure this out. This is a home. Yeah, that was my it initial thought. It doesn't look thought. like it, they would it's like trap like, all yeah. the doors. It's not like they're gonna be all like, yeah, everything's trapped. Every time, and you, as you look in, uh, this is more mannequins and a pla- It looks like an armory where they keep all their weapons. All the weapons and armor are gone. They're not here. Um, and you're getting an idea of like 
how frustrating would it be if they had to undo a trap every time to look into their armor? Yeah. So. And I close it and I look, look at them. Everything's missing. It's like they've already been sent off somewhere. Or something. I don't know. It's kind I of weird, check though. for Arcana on one of the mannequins. Okay, roll Arcana. 21. This is a regular wooden mannequin with nothing magical about it. Okay. It looks like it's got some scuffs on it um, to where armor typically sits, but there's nothing magical. No scratches or anything on any of no, it. it looks very ordinary. Hey, for myself, what room are we in right now? Um, the L shape or the one next to it? Uh, yes, it's like a fat L. <laughs> yeah, all right. <clears throat> and they're in the little tiny room inside that rectangular. Uh, okay. She went, he, sorry, he went in to check and then came right out. Yes. So yeah. now we're um, going think, south. Yeah, the only way left is south. Um, hopefully the guy hasn't woken up yet and gone back that way. He's probably awake. If he has, then I don't assume he would think to there were the intruders no. he would stay his post. A guard that fell asleep? Yes. If anything, he'd be <laughs> overcome with shame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit! Right, <let's> <laughs> he just went <laughs> south. Let's go check it out then. You oh. guys um, head outside the door. Mm-hmm. Um, back out into the yard. Um, south. Yes, I see. You're back in the little area of the yard. Um, it's pretty dirty back here. Uh, it just looks like a walkway. Uh, to your left, on the east um, side, there uh, looks to be, uh, it's a coach house, likely where they keep their horses, Um, and a door directly to your right in the west um, that makes its way into the villa. Do we hear anything from the coach house? Can I make a perception check? Make a perception check. I have a five. You don't hear anything. Okay. You hear the the wind and um, work your is magic on the that little, door. Uh, of course, always. Thing still going on. What little thing? The thing that detects oh. the uh, the nibble right detector. Uh, yes, it is. It's somewhere in here, I would bet. Do you think that they would keep it where they keep the horses? Maybe. I don't think we need to find the creature. We need to find whatever is controlling it. Um, well, what do you guys think? I think you should open the door. Alright. I'll go to the, uh, We've door that, the heist before. At least to the full villa. Yes, but I didn't title it. Alright. Um, into, the... into that smaller room? Uh, uh yeah. Alright. Is it locked? No. Does it sound like there's it anyone unlocked. in there? Um, are you gonna perception check? Put your ear up against it? Make a perception check. Yeah, it's not locked. Not much. Better than my brother. Uh, eight. You can't seem to hear anything past the door. Guys, be quiet. Can't hear anything. Sorry. You listen. You got nothing. Uh. Open the door. Mm-hmm. You um, make your way into a kitchen. Uh, it is well stocked with cookware and utensils. And a large fireplace um, is in the middle of the room where they likely cook stews and other sorts of things. There is nothing else in this room. There is a door to the north and south. Why does this place feel like it's been abandoned? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? North or south? North. North? Alright. Sure. Hey, are you getting no. hungry? Huh? For sure. Are you hungry, man? Or I'll oh, listen first kitchen? for people. No. Uh, okay. Before you head into the north room? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Make a perception check. Okay. Oh, and I'm also going to close the door behind me. I, I'm assuming you're closing every door behind yes. you. Yes. Yeah. It takes check. half a second to scan a whole room with eye for detail, sure. so I'm just going to throw that out. Uh, I got a 16. And a 19 for any... Your Sherlock Holmes vision. <laughs> yeah. You look around the entire room, and there's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, here, it's just like kitchen. Used. Yeah. Often. Not that often. Typically by servants and maids. Not by, uh, because it's very well kept and clean. Therefore, the people who own the house typically don't use it. That's all you really get. So, like, last meal was eaten four hours ago. Any silverware, nothing hidden, obviously, any creatures are obvious. Nothing hidden, uh, a- anything nothing. Anything wealthy. Not really. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you could pawn off half this room for a few silver, but, okay. like, you'd have to carry all the pots and pans. Okay. You listen to the door, you hear nothing. You push the door open. 
This is a laundry room. Uh, it has scrub buckets, wash basins, soap, mops, chamber pots. There is a corpse in the room. Oh, shit. There are also stairs that make their way up. Hey, you notice mouth. the corpse, because when you step in, there is blood all over the floor, like leaking down the stairs. And as you turn, you look over the stairs, you see a woman face down on the stairs in uh, servant clothing with um, puncture wounds um, of a weapon of sorts in her back. Hey, uh, Mycroft, uh, you should get in here. And I'll go over to the woman and I'll... As you step in Minecraft, you kind of notice your feet kind of stick to the floor as, you, as the blood begins to kind of like this is coagulate onto the ground. This happened seconds ago. Uh, oh. You go over the... You're going to search her? I'll flip her around and... <laughs> you flip her over on the stairs. Uh, her her eyes are open. Her face is just like, just estranged and... Uh, what is she, she either died in pain or scared. Does she seem like she was She's... like ready for sleep? Or does she seem no, like she was ready to... she looks... She looks like a maid. I feel as though haste is no longer you a priority. Check her body. She has no weapons on her. Uh, she has a set of keys. Right. Jake, can I make an insight roll? <laughs> Don't jingle those. <laughs> I'm insighting the situation. Like, uh, is there a reason why the weapons are gone? Does it seem like this is part of Raynar's thing? Yeah, or... make an insight check. Can I determine uh, how long ago she died? Make a medicine check. 12 seconds. 15. Mycroft isn't too off within the minute. Um, like the blood is still dripping. A nine. A nine. It's strange. It's not ordinary. You know that. Okay. Piecing it together, you're not entirely sure what's happening. A dead body with weapons gone. You could piece this together as maybe they're being attacked. You're not entirely sure though. Mm. That may not be entirely correct. Does it seem like this was the cause of Raynar removing men? Or am I... You have, I don't... You're aware enough to know Raynar has no effect on what happens inside the villa. We, we've okay. pretty much concluded Raynar's a pretty good guy. Well, no, no, no. I know that. I meant, like, the fact that the nobody's he here, is oh. that because of Raynar? Oh. Or is that because no, something else It could be, but okay. you're not entirely sure. Okay. Can I determine what weapon killed her? What? I'm gonna run up the stairs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Mycroft if, uh... You, you look down, it looks like a bunch of tiny daggers, and as you look, it's not. It's a bunch of daggers um, uh, all in one point, in two points. This is a mace, a spiked mace. <clears throat> hmm. And the two of us are heading upstairs. Oh. You make your way upstairs. Once um, I conclude, I'll follow. All right. Uh, and you guys make your way up those stairs. Uh, you guys can see on the map above you. Um, you see a little the map above. Yeah. There are stairways that are also um, going up and down. Oh, it's yeah. in a small, yep, yep, tiny yep, hallway. Yep. That's where you come out in. You're in a hallway with a way to go south and a hallway going west. Uh, are there blood trails? At this point, the nimble right detector stops. You've gotten too far away from it. No. Yes. Or it was killed. Uh, I'm gonna follow them, like up this. Is, is there like a blood? I'm like watching behind trail? us. There is no blood trail. Um, we should split okay. up. It's a horrible idea. Do you really Just want for to the split? moment? Yes, I'm oh, going okay. to head uh, straight forward, and straight I'll gesture forward that to they south. go. Yeah. And then I'll head over to the uh, building to the right. And the then room, upward. the room to your character's left. Yes. Um, up or down, north or south. North. North? Okay. Uh, Can I quick, get a quick refresher on where we're at right now? So, the you went inside uh, on the on the ground floor. You yep. went inside that first building. You went inside the villa. There was that first room with the fireplace. Yeah, you yeah. went north, and that's the laundry room. Okay. You turned and went up those stairs. Okay. Then if you look above the map, there's the upper floor yep. map. There are stairs all the way on the um, right kind of the right side. Quadrant You're in sector that four. hallway. Okay, okay. Uh, Mycroft is making his way south into that door. All right. Uh, Ira's making his way to the to the east, to the northern door. Where are you two headed? We stay in the hallway? Um, Maybe I'm gonna to check the other one. I'm gonna stay here at the stairs and make sure no one comes up behind us. Okay. Um, I'm opening the door, I'm not waiting for conversation. Yeah. I know, I'm just, that's, I need yeah, to make sure really, they are. That's really just us yeah. talking. Yeah. Since I'm you guys done. are already gone. I'm gonna pull out a piece of leather and cast major armor on myself. Okay. Um, 
and then I'll go into uh, one of the rooms that no one's gone into. The south. Left south. The, oh, then I'll go into the south one. Okay. Um, Mycroft, you go first. Mm-hmm. Rape, you're ready. Mm-hmm. All of you, at the same time, open these doors. Mm-hmm. And as you open them, uh, you see, uh, you see three, uh, maids, you see, uh, a few cooks, and you see some valets are all in this room <laughs> holding rolling pins, mops, and brooms, and they're like, <gasps> as you step in, and they're like, who are you? Who are you? Uh, I'll immediately uh, fade the veil. <laughs> you don't look like a shadow monster no, anymore, yeah. and you transform back into yourself, you go, <gasps> Madam, we're investigators. I need you to tell... You want the watch? Yes. Okay. All right. What has happened here? Well, we don't know. There's there's people. They, they, they've, they've come to... The, and they, they've been killing other people. We don't we don't know what's going on. We're, we're holed up here. We saw... Um, uh, <clears throat> Yes. So they're all split and hiding among these three rooms. Yes. Uh, she says, "We saw, we saw Yala go down the stairs, and we, we, we heard noises, and we heard fighting. We all, we all hold up here. We don't know what's going on." <clears throat> they, they didn't come up with you. No, we, we, we. How here. long ago has this happened? Now, I don't know. Moments? A, a minute, moments. Stay here. Right, I'll go to my conversation. Okay. Um, they're, they're all doing the same thing. They're all freaking out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, just don't, don't be worried. I'm not, I'm not here to kill you, for sure. Um, to, but we saw it, the stuff happen downstairs. Are you guys okay? Oh, we were all right, yeah. What, what happened? We were down, we were doing our, our jobs, and then all of a sudden these people in, in black came in, and they started killing everybody. There's corpses everywhere. We tried to run, and and, and, and Yala stayed behind to try to, to keep them off, but we heard screaming, and we don't know where she is. Um, well, I would say stay up, stay up here for now, and uh, uh, it's, we'll see if we can find what what is going on. Um, but people in black, that's bad. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, stay stay up here and lock... lock stay here? Your, well, I, you can't very well be running outside if, okay, okay. if they're still around. So we'll go clear them out, uh, lock or bar the door if you can, and that's... Just stay there and we'll, we'll be back. All right. They start moving we'll, crates we'll and barrels over the door to try to lock them. Right. Um, uh, my name is Ira. If you don't hear my name, then don't open. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing. You get yeah. these frightened um, people. Yeah, and you, <laughs> we're like back to back. They look like maids <laughs> and cooks. And... I'll, I'll also tell them to barricade the door and don't open for anyone. It looks like this is where they live, so they take like the bed and they start moving yeah. over towards the door. Very good. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay. Oh, and I'll okay. turn and I'll my cough uh, goes. Yeah. I'm going to uh, go down the stairs and then, like, shift to overly ornate, like, absolute leader of the Zentarim armor. Just oh. ridiculously stupid. My so, God, going? like a massive cloak. Yeah. Um, uh, like, I, leather, dark black all over I your body. I look like a dread knight, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then I'll pick up the body and throw it over my shoulder. Can anyone clean this? Um, Stain. Yep, I spam prestigitation. <laughs> That's oh, gone. illusion magic, isn't it? Uh, it'll come back it, in it'll about be gone an hour. for a fucking hour. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, I'll. What? No, you can like you can clean an object. It's temporary though. Yeah. Sure. Duration one hour. It's not mending. Oh. Um, okay. Um, now that we're back downstairs, we're gonna head. Uh, South again to that room, and then further south. Uh, so, all right, so you go back into the kitchen. Mm-hmm. You've got the body over your um, your shoulder. Yeah. Make your way into the the s- southernmost room. Just just for a note, the ones that say up to one hour are listed as for one hour. So it's clean. So it's clean. Oh. And then it does yeah. Okay, so you um, you begin to slowly kind of sweep over the room as the blood begins to kind of peel and crack off the off the surface of the ground and begins to kind of transform into mist and then dissipates. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Man, you'd be a great 
uh, you can commit a lot of crimes by That's just having prestige. Maybe, uh, maybe magic is so bad when you're uh, when you're, you're a rogue. Thief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you make your way inside uh, the room. You open the door. Uh, this is a pantry. It's lined with shelves containing dry dry foodstuffs, spices, folded tablecloths, and jars of preserves. Uh, casks of fresh water, ale, and wine are also stored here. There are two corpses in this room. I apologize. Which door did you run through? The south. The yeah. southernmost. We're down there. Okay. Uh, there are two. There is an older male human mm -hmm. uh, on the ground with uh, the same wounds, and um, a young male halfling um, uh, kind of slumped up against the wall. Also, down. I'll drop the body in here. <laughs> same type of wounds, you said. Uh, yes. One looks to have those like bludgeoning um, spiked wounds. The other one looks like like uh, the halfling looks like it was shanked up against the wall. <clears throat> right. I'll, uh, once I finish cleaning up, I'll catch up to them. I'll, oh, I uh, have more people. Grab one of the things of spices and just wheel it open. Okay, you grab um, a, a, a jar of spices and you, mm. you open it. Yeah. It smells like nutmeg and cinnamon. Right. Um, and then I'll open the next door. Not very subtly, just open it. You open the next door uh, into that room. As you step into this room, it is a great hall, but the floor is strewn with bodies. Oh, God. Um, there are probably about eight of them, but uh, it, it's too quick in the matter when there are two um, men in the room with bloody maces mm -hmm. kind of standing in the room, and as soon as you step inside, um, they look towards you and they immediately <laughs> they go to attack you. What do they look like? Um, they are two large, beefy-looking men with dark black cloaks and no uh, allegiance symbols or anything um not that from what you can see okay you're disguised as a center um, they hesitate before attacking you but they don't recognize you they're like okay ah! and they go for you anyways All right. uh roll initiative awesome. unfortunately they have very strict orders oh that's Even, okay yeah Amazing, amazing rolls over. Fucking kill everybody. Yeah. Um, all right. Mycroft. A natural 20. Nice. Um, Ira. 18. It's going to be in perfect descending order. Nine. Five. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> uh, Okay, so, uh, Mycroft, you're first. Okay. Um, I'll empty the jar of spice in the guy's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Okay. As soon as he comes running at you with the mace, you just <laughs> throw a bunch of cinnamon in his eyes, and he <laughs> kind of falls to the side. He's kind of <laughs> coughing and trying to brush the smoke out of his face. He, uh, he is currently blinded. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, are you doing anything else? I don't have an attack action, so I will position myself away, further away from the door so they can enter. All right. Um, Ira. Question. Mm -hmm. Does blind... You have advantage against attacking the, mm -hmm. the target. Heck yeah. I'll pull out my daggers. <laughs> Ultimate road <laughs> combo. <laughs> Spice. The cinnamon sneak attack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cinnamon challenge, bitch. <laughs> 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 the challenge is to stay alive. I'll pull out my short. I'll pull out my, I'll pull out my short sword and one of my daggers. All right. That was a good idea. All right. Just roll like two attacks with advantage. Oh yeah. Uh, twenty-two. All right. Yeah, that's a hit. And uh, twenty-four. Roll damage. Um, you only get sneak attack on one attack yep. though. Um, my sneak attack is two d six now, and then my dagger. Because we're a whopping level three. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a one. You cheating bitch. That's uh, a one. Uh, Alright, that's actually like not a good roll roll. <laughs> uh, um fourteen damage. Oh my gosh. Uh I was all rolling twos and threes. You too. run towards this guy and you do like an upward X strike um, into his body. Um he kind of stumbles backwards, um, completely thrown off his rhythm. And uh, is bleeding profusely, uh, and then cinnamon spills into his wounds. He's just ah! and now and not expect so this. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? Go get it. <laughs> um, 
All right. Uh, the other uh, thug who has not been cinnamon attacked uh, <laughs> goes to attack you, Mycroft, and he takes out his mace. Or he'll he'll attack um, Ira actually because he's right there. Um, and he attacks. He swings twice with his mace, uh, landing a ten and a twenty-three. Uh, the 23 would hit. I feel like one of those was a really bad roll. Um, barely, you kind of dodge out of the way as it just kind of meets your shoulder and uh, hits some of, um, uh, cracks some of your bone. You take uh, three bludgeoning damage. The other one's got cinnamon in his eye. It's going to spend his action to get it all out. <laughs> he can see now. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, I will cast Chaos Bolt. Oh, All right. Uh, the cinnamon man. <laughs> cinnamon uh, man. Okay. He needs to. Does he make a thing? Oh no, I make a roll. Um, make that attack roll. Yes, of course. What'd you get? Uh, that's a seven. Seven? Um, uh, do you've... I use my ability now? I shall not. Uh, you look forward, and uh, some of the cinnamon begins to also get near you, and you're like. <laughs> And you sneeze, and as you sneeze, the spell just goes straight to the floor. I hate cinnamon. <laughs> um, Seymour. Uh, all right, so I'm walking in he lives through that north door. Too. Uh, right next walking... to the staircase. Oh, you're heading in there? Through Where that the... north door? Yeah, through the north door. You waited there, then? Yeah. Oh, he okay. Was, he was doing the precipitation thing. Surprise attack! You make your way in. What are you doing? Uh... All right, I probably wasn't expecting to find these people in here since it's like so far apart. You're like, eh, oh, <laughs> you see this <laughs> oh, shit. battle going on. How far away am I from you? Uh, can I get within 20 feet of him? Yes, you can. All right, uh, I will throw a dagger at the one that's very hurt. Okay. <laughs> Why, <laughs> like half on the we'll ground, attack. bleeding out, cinnamon <laughs> pouring down his body. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Eight. You have advantage, you can't see. Oh, okay. He can like, see. Oh, he got rid of the cinnamon. Uh, he hears you coming up behind you and does a dodge as the as the the dagger just goes flying over him and it sticks into the wall. Um, top of the round, Mike. Can I throw another dagger? Since there are light weapons? Yes, you can. Okay. I'm going to step around. Technically, this one would be offhand. The back it's of an it. offhand, so you would have to, like, we're going to flavor it as you take two and you throw it like that. Um, okay. So you can throw the second one. You just don't get to add... Um, your your dex. proficiency. Your dex so you, it would just be oh, a d4 yeah. flat damage. Before. Oh, for damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> they both <laughs> stick into the wall. Right. I'm uh, gonna Minecraft. step around the back of the guy who hasn't been hurt yet and make two rapier attacks against him. All right. A 19 and a 16. Roll damage. For both? Uh, yes. Okay. And your sneak attack. Sneak yeah. attack only one attack. Mm-hmm. You have two attacks. Yeah. With rapier. You have Level two. Three. You would have to use two weapons. That's how I got two attacks. I used short sword and dagger. And used oh, one as an offhand. Uh, shoot, sorry, I forgot that's how multi-attack worked. Mm-hmm. Yes. Can I yeah. have can I have a dagger in my other hand? Because it would have that. Yes, so instead of another your rapier is a D eight, right? Yes. Instead do a D four and add no bonus to the D four. Yeah. Just flat D four. Um Okay. So Yep. And rogues never get that. Actually, none of us ever get extra attack. 18 damage. Yeah, piercing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you get up right behind this guy. Very quickly, you just, and you stab him into the back, and he just... As he turns around to, to meet you, Ira. Alright. Uh, I'll turn towards the dude that can see now. Um, is there... A way for me to have advantage on it. Like, is there like a flank that I just... No, because uh, you are currently flanking the guy that Mycroft is, is attacking, who just attacked you. I, that guy has nobody on him. Like, oh, well, that works, and I'll turn and I'll, like, I'll, I'll just... He literally double turns stab around, into him. he's like, damn it, Mycroft! <laughs> it takes yeah, him to the back double, again. Double stab again. <laughs> uh, with a 24. Damn, yeah, that hits. Turned him, in, turned him into a yeah, whirlwind to backstab. <laughs> 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 In the crit. Oh, I just have yeah. your dice. And yeah, I'll, I'll choose to put my sneak attack on my second hit to double the sneak attack. All right. He'll forfeit a kill for May advantage. I see uh, a d6. Yeah, there it is. Pretty cool looking, huh? I know, right? 
23, 26 damage. Ouch. Well, he's uh, he turns around to meet Mycroft, and as soon as he, as he does, uh, uh, there's this, lifeless. it's basically just like um, uh, there's a point that spits out of the front of his neck, and there's a spray of blood on you as he <laughs> falls onto the ground and crumples and, and dies. Be more careful with your attacks. Uh, I can just clean it off of you later. S- Cinnamon Eyes uh, goes uh, for you, Ira, because you just killed that dude. And he's going to attack you twice with his mace. That's a 12 and a dirty 20. Shield. So none of them hit? Neither hit. Uh, you stab this other dude in the back, and as soon as he just <laughs> goes to attack you twice, he <laughs> hits this magical shield. Um, he looks very frustrated. Uh, as right. anyone would be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will cast... <laughs> just freeze frame. Uh, you're probably wondering how I got here. This, in this situation, covered in cinnamon, uh, <laughs> bleeding. The, the Deadpool style. <laughs> the the I, got I don't know what, what that's from. I'm going to cast Chill Touch. Chill Touch. Roll attack. I hit, of course. Uh, that's a 23. Yep, yeah, roll that damage. That normally hits unless you're fighting the boss. <laughs> uh, that's 3 damage. What does Chill Touch look like? It's a skeletal hand that uh, comes out and pokes him. And it's then necrotic. Cold. <laughs> it's, um, it's, he actually he it's literally, necrotic damage. So. He, he goes over to attack uh, Ira, just misses on the shield, and then a I skeletal hand the grabs, flicks him on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you do anything else? Uh, oh, and the, uh, the hand stays on his nose, so I hope that distracts him a bit. <laughs> just will stop him from healing. Yeah, it stays on his nose. <laughs> See you more. <laughs> That's literally it's like, I got your nose. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Ari. They're like brutally murdering people, and you're like, <laughs> there's something on your shirt. <laughs> it's like shit. Uh, by the way, I think I, I like what I do is I keep my daggers in like a belt on my waist, okay. and then I just I throw like one like that, like yeah, like the Assassin's Creed. All right, are you gonna throw two? Uh, no, because I only have three, and this is my last one. So roll attack. Uh, I'm just gonna. Can I flank? Can I run up and fly? I have three. He, he did attack me. Uh, yes, you can. So you can run up behind him and just stab him. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's a natural 20. Whoa, okay. 2d4. This is a good game for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing awesome. Gosh, I, I just love the image of, we have to guard this room. Somebody coming. <laughs> it's just <laughs> you in a like a dark like he just the looks like a shadowy death. figure and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> that's the greatest start. Like they're imagining like the the like more innocent bystanders yeah. coming. All right, we gotta kill these guys. No, it's it's death himself, and he carries with him cinnamon. <laughs> uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Nice. Um, you stab him in the back, and he falls down to one knee. And he, Barely, barely alive. Mycroft. Um, well, Ira, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to step around you. Uh, it's okay. I and put a, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to shank him. Mm, no. You're I'm currently going... not flanking because only Ira and... Um, yeah, I was going to walk around. Yeah, he's in the back. He's oh, in the front. Okay. You would have to come to the sides. I'm going to grab him. Grab him. So... This is a melee attack versus his. This It'd is be your athletics, athletics check. Versus his 15. athletics check. He could grab him around the neck. Okay. And then he's just oh, spitting out cinnamon. Um, From his eyes. Ira, <laughs> I believe we have earned some answers. Perhaps. Collect. We should try and keep it down so that the guy outside doesn't. Oh, oh I'll, I'll just kind of turn and look at him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a dagger to his throat, like. Under my cross, like above my cross hand. Just watch it. What are you guys doing here? You're uh, you're you're the interim, right? I believe you are. Or yeah, you're that you're, you're that uh, that group that uh, decides. You know what? Fuck this. Uh, I'll let go, and I'll say, Hey, uh, Mycroft, uh, could mm. you let him go for like a split second? Just trust me on this. Throw well, him on the ground. <coughs> Strong person on the ground. Uh, okay. 
While they're doing this, I'm grabbing my daggers. So wisdom save? Yes. That is an 11. And he fails. All right. <laughs> ah, I hey, love you guys. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Like, let me tell them, hey, if you guys could go, like, just make sure that some of the bodies are good. I'll, I, I'll make sure this guy's taken We're going to go well. search for more friends. Yeah, do that. Hey, sorry, I forgot. Um, <laughs> what, what were you guys doing here? I just, in the chaos, you know, a few stab wounds. I'm gonna guard that door. Why? Anybody who comes through is to die. Why? Who said so? Like, come on, you, you even went after me. Don't you remember me? I'm Ira. I don't know who you are, but I mean, I don't. You, you were just trying to kill me. Or, why were you doing that? I just the chaos, man. The chaos of the battle and like them attacking, and I just you I didn't stabbed realize my who friend. Were, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't realize who he was. I didn't realize he was your friend. I just I didn't want you to get hurt. And then once Look, I noticed, I'm hurt you, now. Okay. Uh, well, let me fix that. And I pull out like a, a bandage. I'm like, here. Make a uh, medicine like, check. <laughs> I'd like to go through the other guy's stuff. All right. Oh, okay. As you're in this room, there are two iron chandeliers that hang down from the dark mahogany right. ceiling above the long dining table in the center of the room. Um, the dining table is carved from red larch wood. Ooh. Chairs around the table are particularly tall and elaborate chair at each end. Lining the wood-paneled walls are tapestries and locked wooden cabinets that uh, contain fine dishes, silverware, and candlesticks. You know, like those like old cabinets with, uh, with glass. glass, and you yeah. can see the fine Everyone's silverware. There's also a fireplace with a black marble mantelpiece, and that has a framed family portrait mounted above it. There is a man, a woman, three young children, and a dog. There is also, uh, as you're in this room... Mm, I thought that was in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Do I recognize any of the people in the portrait? Um, make a history check. Um, as you're doing the interrogation and you're searching the room, I want to gesture to you to follow me. All right, you grab my daggers. I there, rolled a, yeah, I there's, rolled a, a, there's a door to the west. And we're going to go up the other staircase. I rolled an 18, by the way. Okay, you bandage him up a bit. Um, he's not looking very good. Mm. So, sorry about that, man. Just like, like what, why, why are you here? Like, I didn't mm. know you were going to be here. Urstel called for help. Oh, Urstel, do you know where he is? He's here somewhere. I think he's upstairs. You think he's upstairs? I gotta keep this room. I gotta guard it. Does he still have the key? What key? The thing that he was supposed to get. I... Do you not know? I don't know what you're talking about. Never yeah. inform your lackeys as we head upstairs. Well, okay, well, even if you didn't know, um, even if you don't know, uh, it's... How, how did Urstel have the ability to call for help? Is he... Is he... As high-ranking as I remember him being? He... He knows how to... He knows how to call you? We have our own ways. We're spies. We deal with people being in prison and needing to be escaped. It, did anyone else come to help, or is it just yes. you two? We, we were only to guard this room. There's many more upstairs. There's many more upstairs? As we cut to you guys. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> you make your way upstairs, <laughs> and um, as you make your way upstairs... Wait, There's many more upstairs. <laughs> we're we're going to be stealthing. We're not going to be stupid. Okay. Or maybe we're going to be stupid. Ari, are you staying downstairs? Oh, yes. I asked to oh, go through the man's things. Thing. <laughs> You're going to go through people. the stuff? There's uh, nothing on them but the maces. Okay. Um, you do confirm with your suspicion of looting normal. the body. They have the Zentrum tattoos. It's prime one neutral. Okay. It's definitely yeah. not a good thing. Okay. <laughs> a lot is happening. What'd you guys get? I got a 19. Sorry, I'm going to use the restroom real quick so I don't go ahead. know what they're doing. What'd you get? The Goliath got an 8. All right. <laughs> you, you weren't thinking about stealth, so you just kind of trudged your That's way upstairs. Right. There's a lot happening once you make your way into the foyer. Uh, you are now upstairs. You guys can see where the stairs go up. Yep. There is a door to the south, a door to the north, and then open doors to the east. A battle rages between several Zentrum and house guards uh, in the room that you're currently in. As soon as you make your way up, there's a big fight going on. Oh, in this room? In this room. Right. There are doors to the master bedroom that stand open. You hear a woman yell out, The city watch is on their way! <clears throat> and uh, there is a door below, which you can hear... <laughs> <laughs> like somebody beating down the door, tempting you, but the door is currently closed. Uh, Roll which, initiative. Which, which door? The door to the south. Uh, should uh, Colton and I also roll initiative? Uh, yes, you should. <clears throat> 
Okay. Oh, yes. Well, of course. Twins aren't having it this game. No, we are not. Uh, Mycroft, what'd you get? South. So, <laughs> so, so the, you got South. <laughs> see that L-shaped room you currently in? As soon as you make your right, there's this big fight going on in this foyer. In, in the bigger <laughs> L-shaped room? N no. Mm. You make your way up the stairs. Yes. In the room you okay. step in, there's a fight going on. Do you see the open doors? Mm -hmm. In that room, you can hear somebody yelling about the guards coming. Okay. South is the little tiny rectangle room. Mm -hmm. It's closed, and in there you can hear pounding. All right. Okay. What'd you get on your initiative? Uh, 15. Um, all right. What'd you get, Seymour? Six. Um, all right, and then we've got a bunch of guys in this room. Uh, specifically, four House Grawlhund guys, and three Zentrin. There are also six, six corpses on the floor. Okay. Um, six guards of the House Grawl Hunt and two Zentarim. Oh, God. Are there only four Grawl There are four Grawl Hunt um, guards, okay. and there are three Zentarim. Okay. Well, we have to act very decisively. Uh, yeah, maybe avoid the fight. One second as I add these guys in. Mm hmm. Hey, roll initiative. Hey, you got our roll initiative, sir. And then I assume we'll do my actions on my initiative. Yes. Perfect. Mm. All right. Oh my goodness. Did they hear the shouting? What? There's the a very important here. shout. Yeah, but it happens like instantly. They hear yeah. it. They don't react to it. Uh, it's your turn. What are you doing? Uh, running to the door with the pounding. Okay. You are need, going to need to make, uh, they aren't necessarily interested in fighting. I'll use my rogue action to disengage, right, even less say, involved. You weave your way through the battle, um, under blades, uh, through people, and you kind of slide your way over to the door. Um, and what are you doing? You're just opening it? Uh, yeah. All right. You can interact with one object during your movement. Yeah, so. I know. Um... You open the door. You see a man. Um, he looks like a Zentrim. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, and he is currently, he's he has a, a sword, and he looks wounded, and he's trying to kick open this door that leads further south. So you open it, and you have, his back is to you as he's trying to kick open this door. I'm going to stab him. Okay. You notice... Uh, he, uh, something interesting about him with your eye of detail, but yeah. also just because you see it as soon as you step in. If, if you do want to make that more passive, I'd appreciate it. of his it. face mm -hmm. is burned. Okay. Uh, roll attack. Uh, that is a 14. Okay. And a not natural 20. Give me one second as I get okay. this. Uh, what were your two attacks? 14, not natural 20. Uh, you run forward and you take the dagger, you take the rapier forward, yeah. and it just misses as he kind of dodges out of the way he sees you. The dagger, however, you land into his shoulder. Okay. Ooh. 13 uh, slashing damage. Thirteen slashing damage. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you uh, you stab into this guy, and as soon as you do, he's barely expecting it. He he takes it uh, onto his. He says, "Who the hell are you?" The Zentrum outfit that I have on, there is like a helmet. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he says, "Who the hell are you?" I don't respond. Okay. Uh.
Okay. Uh, all of the other uh, the ha- House Grawlhund um, dudes are going to attack all of the Zentrum. Miss. That's a miss. And they all suck ass. <laughs> as they all just completely well, yeah. miss um, I mean, the Zentrum as they dodge out of the way. So. The Zentrum go to attack. How many is it? I'll get 20. Versus three. three versus four. What did you get in your initiative? Uh, I got a 12. And what would you get? Uh, one, but plus one, so two. Okay. Uh, the two of the Zentrum are able to take out one of the house guards. Um, the other one just misses. Uh, it is the guy who's right in front of you. It's his turn. He turns and he yells and he looks down and he says, We're leaving! He disengages from you and he begins to run. Um, he ducks and weaves between the battle, moves past uh, you, um, Seymour, and... Down the stairs? Yeah, he, and he runs down the stairs. Uh, and he makes it all the way down. Um, and all of the other Zentrum in the room will look, and they all begin to, like, they're going to spend their next turn following him. Um, Ira, you see a man run down the stairs... Um, and he's darting towards the I, door. I assume I probably wouldn't fully see him yet, would I? Because like the, my action is happening as he's beginning to run. Mm-hmm. You you just turn and you see this happening. This okay. man has black hair, black robes. He doesn't necessarily have a hood, but he looks like he's Zentrim, and half of his face is burned. I'll turn and I'll 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 look at him and I'll say, who, who like my my the my friend. You you look back at him and he's standing up and he's like, I gotta go. <clears throat> Okay, I can deduce that that's Erstal. So as he's standing up, I'm going to turn at him, and I'm going to turn him. Thank you for your information. <laughs> you're going to just kill this the dude you charmed? Yeah. Okay. Can I have uh, advantage? Uh, no, it? You, he has like two hit points. Yeah. You, I mean, you're like, thank you. And you slice his throat as he <laughs> falls on the ground, gurgling, and then and he dies. I'll uh, give chase. All right, you are on heels with uh, this. And What's I your speed? Can, uh, 30, but I can dash as a bonus action. So. Okay, you're right next to him. He looks at you like there's like this moment where you both just look at each other. He just looks very confused. Hi. <clears throat> I take uh, it that you're uh, that you're a stole. Stay out of my way. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Never heard anyone. <laughs> all right, are these guys like right next to me as they're like going down? Uh, yeah, they're about to like run you over as as they begin Sorry. to charge towards the stairs. Oh, do I need to make like a death save? <laughs> no, it's your turn, so okay. you have a chance to do something. Um, and then one guy already made it past me. Yeah, he ran. He was super fast. Uh, does he look like... Do they look like they're trying to just escape? Yeah. Okay. Like they're just leaving. Okay, uh, then I'm going to go through that north door. Uh, and you can tell, because you, you figure this out, you can tell they're leaving because you guys showed up. As soon as you showed up and Mycroft went over and stabbed, um, Erstel, uh, he, he was like, fuck this, we're going, and, and they're, they're just, they're bailing. Okay. Yep. So you make your way over to where? The north door. The northern door. You, uh, it's right there. You turn, you go to the door, you open it. It's not locked. And as you step inside, uh, this is a ballroom. I'm sorry, it is locked. Oh, okay. You're like, this is a ballroom. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, then I'll go through the open doors. You run through the open doors. Are the, the Grawlhun still here? The one? I don't know. The Grawlhun guards? Yeah. Yeah, there's three of them that are still alive. Uh, okay. Do they look like they're gonna hit me? No. They're they're confused as to what's happening. They're right. It's still in the moment, so they're kind of just like, they're like off of battle, and they're not necessarily focusing on you. They're just, uh, what's happening? Okay. Uh, you make your way further in. Uh, you see a master bedroom. Uh, you see a woman, um, a similar woman who was in the painting. Um, uh, she has a breastplate, she has a rapier, and from what you can tell, this is not somebody who typically wields a breastplate and a rapier. She's kind of standing there with both hands on the rapier, and in front of her is a well-dressed half-orc, um, who stands there. Uh, he's got kind of a goatee, um, and he's this massive-looking dude, uh, and he's got these huge morning stars. He kind of stands there in front of her. Um, there's more. 
Uh... See, the woman kind of steps out, and she looks at you, and she says, Who are you? Uh, first, I want to close the door behind me. As You're I an old man invading a home. <laughs> you, you shut the door behind you. Yeah. Uh, be like, uh, I'm Uncle Ben. Are you with the watch? Uh, I mean, kind of. Um. I I'm not going to hurt you. Uh, stand down, Krabus. And he holds the morning star down. Uh, continue an initiative. Uh, can I, sorry, can I do a performance to act like I'm actually an old man now that I'm in the room? Uh, <laughs> yeah, roll performance. <laughs> I just wandered up here. I didn't Six. climb a grappling hook with a natural. You were like, you like running. You shut the doors behind you, and you're like, ooh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Ari. Um, I will. You see Ira giving chase to a half-burned Zentrum-looking guy. Hey, I think this is a. Uh... You cannot talk. I will follow <laughs> after him. You're uh... currently in a, like. Movement in speaking to to the other guy. Huh? I'm going to uh, right now. You're run saying fuck that. Okay. And I'm going to cast uh, cast bolt. Bolt attack. She didn't specify who. Who are you? <laughs> are you attacking the, the guy? Yes. Roll. Okay. Roll attack. Use different dice. Yeah. Perhaps. Dice. All of your dice um, belong in dice jail. Yes. Uh, this one was wrong. Well. It's not worth using my thing. Um, I hope you have this. And uh, I'm gonna. You just miss? I miss. I got a, a seven. <laughs> it's the wall. Uh, Mycroft. Um, I'll immediately shift to a city guard. A city guard? Yeah. Okay. You. Uh, is it an action or bonus action? At will. Because it's a magic item. It casts the spell Alter Self Which or Disguise Self. That's an action. That's an action to cast. Um, no, it specifies at will. Hold on. At will means you can always do well, it. Well, where? Oh, it is? Okay. Yes. You can use an action. I don't know. So it could be at will, but it could be take a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it is an action. Yes. So that'll be my action. You transform um, into And a then city I'll guard. knock on the door a lot softer than he was banging and say, Open up, city guard. Okay. Make a deception check with advantage. Okay. Uh, 23. Ooh, very nice, very nice. It's proving myself. Um, okay. <laughs> you hear, oh, thank God. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you hear somebody coming over the door. Okay. Um, the Grawlhund guards look around, and they're confused as to what to do. Uh, they make their way into the room behind you. They open the doors again, and they say, uh, My lady, are you all right? She says, Yes, stand down. I don't think this man is a Zentry. He's just an old, frail man. Just a wandering man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I got here. How did you wander into my home? I was looking for strawberries. Well, be on your way, then. There's got to be strawberries in here somewhere. I'll right. start walking. <laughs> <laughs> um, My okay. mom worked at an old folk home, and there were people like that who would vanish off the property and be found <laughs> later just elsewhere looking, looking for, for strawberries. <laughs> um, as you're, as you're uh, kind of right next to uh, Erstel as he's making his escape, three Zentrum run down the stairs, see that you're engaged with them, and they say, Go, boss, we got him! And they run straight Ooh. for you. Um, they are all going to make mace attacks on you. Oh, damn, they're fast. Holy shit. Yep, they were up the stairs, and they made their way down, and they, the doors are right there. You can see as well. Okay, if I was in the middle of the room and I Five, moved 10, 60 50, feet, 20, 20, 20, 20, how did... 30, 35. They can dash. Yeah, but if, they're, if the top of the stairs... 40. I, I'm just confused. It's fine. Like, I'm just kind of confused. Basically, what you saw is you were in the one side of the room. You saw, uh, you saw Erstel run down, make his way towards the door. You you killed the guy, ran over to him. You both are like right at the entrance of the door, and you had that little moment where you spoke to each other. Then you're right behind him, climbing, running down the stairs. Uh, is three of his men, and they're like, uh oh. So they run over right. to you, and they're yeah, gonna no, attack. Totally. Uh, 
Uh oh. 17, 15. Uh, 15 misses. Okay. Um, 7 and 8. Both of those 18. Sorry, not 8. 18. Shield. I'll shield the first one too, so my AC is 21 for all right. At least. Uh, and that's my last spell. They spot. all run over to you and. <laughs> and you just hold up a shield and nothing hits you. <laughs> Right. And there goes my last spell slot, but it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> six mace attacks that will do with D6 damage. It was very worth it. <laughs> um, Erstel turns and he <laughs> bolts out the door and runs. Um, I assume he probably disengaged. Yes, he's yeah. disengaging and he's running. Um, I run. It's your turn. Right, how far out does he have seen? Uh, he can run. He's 60 feet. That was 30, one, 30 feet. One so turn. 60. If he's a rogue, he can go 90 with the dash. No, that's no, because he disengaged. Oh, he did. Uh, he can. You can dash as a bonus action and then disengage. So yeah, he's 60 okay. out there. I mean, I he, the he's at feet. the gate. You can't. you can't double dash. That's not a thing. You can only dash once. You can In never. You can never dash twice. Because okay. dash doubles your move speed. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Doubles uh, it again. <laughs> Alright, well, I um, uh, hope this works, and I'm going to just bolt. I'm not going to disengage. I'll dash as a bonus action and go after him. And They're all going to attack you! I'm aware. Oh my god. Eight. <laughs> Twelve. Fifteen. All three miss. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh! As you just <laughs> run out! They're like, shit! We <laughs> <I> got him! <laughs> <laughs> Shitty, like goons that are like, to take Look at each other, they're like, and then, we're fired, uh, aren't we? <laughs> when, I, when I get to him, uh, when I get to him, I'm gonna attempt to like kind of, kind of like go around and take him and just kind of spin and like bring him to the ground with me. You wanna grapple him? Yeah. Okay, uh, football. Alright, roll an athletics check. Yeah, basically a tackle. <laughs> Alright, that's actually not that bad. Uh, that's a 18. An 18? Yeah. He, you run and you run and you run and he, as he kind of grabs onto the gate to like jump over it, he turns and sees you and he tries to move pants. out of the way. You grab onto his arm and you pull him down to the ground. And you, gonna... You've got him, you've got like his arm and you've got him grappled down to the ground. He's, Gah! hey, I'm going to need the rest of you to get over here pretty damn quick. The three thugs look over like, yeah, we're coming. Yeah, not you, <laughs> not you fuckers. <laughs> Seymour. We know. God damn it, you two are nowhere near me. <laughs> oh. Fuck. You the I'm coming! <laughs> pew, how does that always end up being you and me together and then these two together? Uh, you. She, the woman is very confused. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. And she looks at you and she says, uh, How did. Gods, please escort, escort this old man out of my villa. And they say, Right away. And they walk over to you and they grab your arms. Like, don't touch me. <laughs> Respect your elder. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to be here. You need to leave. I'm leaving past. I'm trying to go to the other open door. Sir, sir, what what do we do? And she's she shrugs. They pull out their weapons and they're gonna <laughs> go knock you out. Oh, they're gonna knock you out. Oh, oh, okay. They're gonna try to slaughter you. Um, so if you don't come with us, we're going to have to resort to violence. I'm just looking for my strawberries. Well, you're not. You need to. He's not listening. Ugh, he's gonna try to hit you. <laughs> Um, it's a 15. That misses. <laughs> <laughs> you dodge! <laughs> hey! This man clearly is a threat. Attack him! <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa in the Matrix. <laughs> and, and nobody knows what to do. Are they really attacking me? Just to, just to give you an idea of the scene, uh, they aren't just having a family dinner. Yeah. They are currently defending themselves from an attack. An old man walks in and just tell is like I'm looking for strawberries. Wanted to know where to go. They're not going to be very, you know, forgiving. They, and then they're like, Are oh, they attacking we'll, we'll with just... lethal intention? No, they're attacking oh, okay, okay. with possibly not killing you because you haven't done anything wrong. But then yeah, listen yeah. to them. Like, I'm just oh, thinking, like if they're trying to attack with lethal intention, it changes the situation. Yeah, they're just like, oh, this guy might be a threat. They're not like kill him. They're yeah. like incapacitated. This well-trained guard tries to knock you out and you just dodge it. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, they're trying to try and grab your legs. It's an right. acrobatics check. I need to make one? Yes. Okay. Get that grandpa! <laughs> the grandpa does a goddamn backflip. <laughs> like spider climbs on the Please don't fail me. I like to imagine that you just poof out of the I don't know why, but I'm just imagining you else. look like Mermaid Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
probably pretty pretty close. It's so much better than what I was thinking. <laughs> I imagine the old man from Courage. No! You have failed oh. me, Dice. You have failed Eustace. me. Yeah, Eustace. I got a six. They pull your legs to the ground. You keep <laughs> fall onto your face. The other one walks over and grabs your arms and is going to rope them. Uh, are you going to try and escape? Yes. Uh, make an athletics or an acrobatics check. All right. I'll do acrobatics. All right. Fifteen. You whip over onto your back and you kick this dude in the head as he is, ah! and uh, you're currently prone, um, but they're okay. all standing over you. Uh, what are you doing? Anything? I'm, I'm trying to make it to the other room that has open doors, and I want to close those behind me. Okay. You turn, dropping the old man, you know, facade here. You still look like one. You turn, you run, and you shut the doors behind you. Um. Uh, that is the balcony, by the way. Okay, all right. So oh, you're on the balcony. What can I see? You see that going on. You're like, help me, goddammit, and you see an old man come out of the balcony. Oh, hey, you. good. <laughs> oh, the balcony is that little gray thing? Yes. Okay. Well, that, that's that's helpful. In the room with the open doors that go to the north. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Was there any way for me to lock these doors behind me? Yes. Okay. Lock the doors behind me. I'm assuming you. that's all I can do. They're like, what the fuck? I'm just so confused. I don't know oh, my strawberries! Do. I found them. Acrobatic <laughs> old man. Um, alright. Uh, Ari. I'm gonna... How far away are they? From you? 60 feet. 60 feet? I will move 30 feet. Okay, you're just on 30 nice feet. Just a little, little jog. Alright. Um, and can you guess what I'm gonna try to do? Chaos Bolt? Chaos Bolt! Wait. Chaos Bolt. Yeah. Chaos Bolt. Yes! yes. Um, I got a stick. On one of the. Wait, but how far away are the thugs from me? 60 feet as well, or. If you run the, the thugs? Yes. They're like 10 feet away from me. Oh. They're right next to you. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, so. He's over here. The thugs are right here. I'm right here. I'm gonna move this way. Okay, so you move around them? Yeah, and I'm gonna cast Chaos Bolt over here on them. On, oh, the, hit all three. on the thugs? Uh, I can only do one. But I'm gonna cast it okay. on the the middle thug. The middle thug. Yes. Come on, please do well. <laughs> what the heck? What'd you get? Stop rolling. Don't Just roll a dice. Roll. You might hit. What'd you get? I'm gonna use my thing. I'm gonna use uh, blessed by the gods or oh, whatever okay. it's called. You are clearly five. not. Is that two ones? No, no. It's a four and a one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. <laughs> 14. That hits. Roll damage. She tested all these dice up before. Yeah, they were, they were all rolling like above really 10. well. Uh, so. Don't worry. Eight. I have a solution to this problem. Are you gonna give me the white die? I am. <laughs> you bastard. Bless the dice? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm me gonna ruin it. Too. The blessed holy grill of 15. dice. Let's confirm it's nice. blessed. Crap. Roll yeah. <laughs> Jacob. Uh, so Let's 11, confirm it's blessed is how we it, Jacob, it's not these guys. Um, it's these guys. It's a skill. That's uh, 16 lightning damage Ooh, for those Kirsten. wonderful gentlemen. Nice. One wonderful gentlemen. Very, very they're nice. like, help me! You're like, help me, goddammit! And uh, uh, they're like, yeah, we're coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> turn in on. He's like, yes, hit one. <laughs> now they all turn and look at you. Would you roll? Ten. Ten. Not okay. that bad. I think I got rid of all of the bad. Um, <laughs> Top of the round, Mycroft. I don't know. Uh, did he open the door yet? Yes, so this man opens the door. Immediately eye for detail in the whole room. So, we're kind of at a combat for you. So, we'll go over all your shit once I'm done with combat for everybody else. Mine is a race against the guards. Eye for detail is also a bonus action. So, you can actually kind of do that. Okay, you open the door and you're going to eye for detail this dude. Mm -hmm. uh, like him in the room. Okay. Just and anything. Uh, make that perception. Precious, check. important, or hidden. It's fine. Him, he's precious. <laughs> um, this is insight. So, ooh, god, six. This man is about. He's kind of short. He's like my height, about five, six ish. Um, he has black hair, small mustache, and he looks very noble. Like, and you're aware of this. He's he's fine. He he has a rapier. You can tell he has no idea how to use this thing. Mm. He's just kind of holding it, shaking. Um, and, uh, he looks very, very nervous. Um, 
In the room behind him is what looks like um, a guest suite. Okay. There are two corpses in the room. And... I'm sorry, there are not. There are not corpses. There, uh, the, it's... It just looks like an untouched guest room. Okay. Um, and there's like a little, like, all the chairs are barred up against one corner, and it looks like he was cowering in that corner. Other than that, there doesn't seem... Oh, shit. Never mind. There are seven corpses. There are a lot of things in here. Oh, God. On the floor is... And you get this all in a second. Uh, you're like, vision like zooms over. Um, there's a circle. Arcanic runes. You know what these are. This is a teleportation circle. It's permanently um, put here, um, laid on the ground. Over there's a bird cage. Three flying snakes are in it. Um, and uh, they kind of sit in there. They look like the ones that came to you in the night that one time. Mm. Um, that is the only thing. The, that is it. Okay. Um, I'll say, we got to get you out of here. I'll grab his arm and oh, I'll pull him out of the room. Where are we going? Uh, I don't answer, and I just rush him downstairs. Okay, you rush him towards the stairs. Well, my, and he says, my wife, my, my wife, my kids! <clears throat> the other gods will get in. We have to go. He's going to insight you. Make a deception check. Okay. Because you have advantage because huh? have a disguise. Uh, do I have advantage? Not now, you don't. Okay. Uh, that is a 12. He's fucking stupid, and he's like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> um... All the guards go over to the door. Mm-hmm. Hey! 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 Oh, 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 open this! Open this door! No. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real asshole, you know that? You didn't let me find my strawberry. <laughs> no, not many! Um, the thug you chaos bolted runs over to you. and to mace you. Oh, no. 13 and 14. 14 hits. Hey, please be careful. When I said help, I didn't mean die. That is 8 damage as he <laughs> smacks you across the face. Ow. <laughs> Oof. Please help. The other two <laughs> run towards you. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I, I will accept that. They're like, he's too far. They pull out uh, crossbows and they fire. <coughs> he's too far. I have a question. Since I pulled him to the ground, am I prone? No. He's prone. You're not. You have him in I that, wanted like, to, like, fall on him, like, a tackle. Yeah, you, I described it. You have him in that lock where, like, he's on the ground. You have your arm. He's face down, um, and you have his arm up in the air like this, and you're holding him down like oh, that. So okay. you're not that prone. That works, too. Because um, <clears throat> he was about to climb up. You just grabbed him and pulled him down. Um, <clears throat> uh, they both attack you with crossbow bolts, getting a goddamn ten and a six. All right, both of those miss. <clears throat> hit the side of the wall. Like, hey, where you go? <clears throat> Why would I do that? Cause we'll kill you. Wait, where's obviously the... not. Uh, Ursula's gonna try and escape. <laughs> where's the fucking outside guard with the two dogs? <laughs> Gone. He stayed asleep. He's not there. <laughs> He's still asleep. He probably fucking died. He's um, like, huh? So I must have been my tired. Acrobatics to uh, my acrobatics was nineteen. He's so, like, uh, weird. He goes back to sleep. Acrobatics was nineteen. Yeah. I, I hang on. Keep on. Might not. Yeah, he will. Oh, shit! That's a 23. Alright. He swings, uh, hits your leg, and escapes. Stands up, looks, and he says, You don't want to do this. And why wouldn't I? Because <clears throat> there's bigger problems going on up in there. He turns, and he goes towards the, um, the wall. He's going to try and climb it. He succeeds. He, uh... Puts his foot up on one point, he hoists himself up, and he uh, puts himself over. Yes. <laughs> Try to can I can I substitute it with the grapple because grapple is an attack. Uh no. This is more of like a last ditch. Like ah, you're gonna right, try so and I'm get. I'm gonna him. take a slice at his arm with my short sword, kind of okay. like an upward motion to try to like get him to okay. kind of loosen, like loosen his grip. Roll and attack. Ball. Gone for his Achilles. Uh, all right, that's not that great. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, not you that hit. Roll damage. Bitch. Uh, I, I mean, me over here. Welcome I to our world. <laughs> worse than what it could have been. 
Uh, six damage. You, s- you leave him a mark as he begins to run at Fuck! He runs and he turns, he's kind of, his, his arm he's not using to hoist himself up, he turns and he gives you one last look. He says, I remember you. And he hops over the side of the wall. And the, go- the thugs are like, wait for us, boss! And they're like running. Um, it's your turn. Can just I could. scream just, just guards, guards. Terrible idea. All the guards are gone. Um, They're coming. You heard her shout. The city guard. Yeah, the city guard that we got rid of. They'll still <laughs> arrest you. Well, um, I'm gonna turn and look at the two guys, uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna sheath a short sword and grab a dagger really quick, and I'm gonna <laughs> one on each guy. Nice. Roll two attacks. I'm pretty sure you can't do that, but that's uh, that's dumb, and I'm gonna let you do it. I was gonna say it says in the book when you make multiple attacks, you can choose your target for each attack. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Yeah. Um, so that's a ten and a fifteen. Uh, the ten misses, the fifteen hits. All right, I'll take it. And ooh, that's seven damage. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, one dodges the dagger, the other one <laughs> takes the dagger right into the leg. <laughs> ah, come on then. Let's let's do this. Um, and so I'll uh. <laughs> like, do uh, I look? Do they seem like they want to like deal with me, or do they seem like they're trying to leave? Both. They're like, we have to deal with you to get out. Okay. <laughs> cool. Perfect. All right. So I see that he's still like dealing with, with these people, yep. uh, and I'm gonna. Dodge. Hey, we need to get one of these guys. I'm, I'm not responding. Uh, I'm gonna turn to the people at the door. Okay. Like, listen, sonnies. With every house comes a strawberry. And then I'm gonna acrobatics off the balcony. <laughs> Backflip off! <laughs> Good acrobatics check. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Words to live by. These guys are gonna be like, I don't think that ever happened. Be, you remember that old man? I mean, for, for strawberries, he backflipped off the balcony. <laughs> Can they, I magic missile one of the people that he's fighting as I like go off? Yeah. Okay. They adopt a motto for the old man where he's like, You guys remember the old man? Never mind all that. <laughs> yes. Didn't happen. Yes. Uh, I got a not natural 20 for my acrobatics. You jump, you backflip, and as you're doing, you're like upside down backwards. You're like, pshu, 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 as you begin to fall and magic missiles just hit this uh, these thugs. All right. Are you doing them all on one? Uh, yes. All right. So which one? The one that has a dagger in its leg or the one that's healthy? Are you healthy? Are they you, both look damaged. Is he holding on to any of them? No. He's what? about 20 feet away from them, and he threw two daggers. One that I, I was holding on to Erstal, but he got free of my grip. Uh, all right, then I'll go for the damage one. All right, roll those d4s. Uh, uh, 10 damage. Uh, he's barely standing. <clears throat> Takes a bunch of um, magic pistols to the back. It's like Sorry. midnight yeah. right now, right? About, yeah. Um... I will. Uh, chill touch one of them. The one that uh, he just attacked. Okay, you've got one right in front of you. Oh, then I'll attack. maced that one. you across the base. Yes, I'll attack that one. Idea. I forgot that there was a guy in front of me. Yep. Roll a chill touch. <laughs> Even the white dice? It's betrayed you. <laughs> you roll? A one. A one? Yes. You're like magic. It's either, it's either really good or really bad, so just trust it. Huh? You're like magic. Uh huh. And nothing happens. All right. Oh, that's right. That's not how you cast. And he looks at you. Uh, Mycroft. Are you jailing my dice? Rush this guy down the stairs, right? Uh, uh, it yeah. rolled a one. We're going uh, out to the. Oh, it's fall. It is. We're gonna make our way um, not out the front door because that gate's locked, right? Mm-hmm. We concluded that. Um, going all the way east uh, into the, I think that's the laundry room, down into the kitchen, and then... You cannot move that far. Well, yeah, just... And then over to the horse place. The place of horse. <laughs> okay, you guys be a couple all rounds. see Mycroft... No, we don't. No, no, you don't. You see... You all see a city guard run down the stairs 
with a guy you've never seen before, move past the front door, past everybody, and straight into the laundry room. What? What the fuck? There's you a just lot of all see right that. Now. Yeah, because I'm actually at the right spot, too, where I'd see that mm -hmm. in the background. It's like everybody sees that. It's right in the middle of the chaos. Well, I, wait, I have a question about mm -hmm. just the layout of everything. Because where I jump down is where we I put that guy to sleep, right? Yes. Okay. And then where is... I'm at the north gate. Okay, so you're just right in front of that great, a gate. Okay, I'm good. I want to make sure. Um, yeah, Mycroft moved, moved across the middle of the, the dining room. Into the laundry room where the staircase is. Uh, all right. Uh, all of the guards don't do anything. Um, Ursel's gone. Ira, what are you doing? Uh, oh, no, sorry, the thugs. Uh, no, nah, they don't need it. Uh, the two thugs run over to you, pull out their maces, and begin to smack. Uh, God damn, okay, a crit and a ten. All right, the ten missed. Uh, another crit and another 10. I'm not even kidding. What the fuck? I rolled a 6 and a 20, then I rolled again and rolled another 6 and 20. Okay. Um, is the one in front of me going to attack me? Yes. Can I use my unsettled visage to give him disadvantage? You sure can. It's 18 damage. Alright, I need to roll the stupid... Massive damage? Yeah. Alright, make a constitution saving throw. Wait, did you go down too? I have 3 health. Okay. Uh, ten. Um, make... You have to roll, I think, a d10. Yeah, roll a d10. Nine. Nine? Uh, you're fine, you just can't take any reactions. Um, they both run over to you, and uh, you're like, shit, 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 as they both, um, they both swing first and miss as you dodge out of the way, and then one <clears throat> hits you in the gut, the other one <clears throat> hits you under the shoulder, and you just feel an immense amount of pain. Um, Seymour. Oh, sorry. I, uh, Ira, it's your turn. No, the one right here is like you with disadvantage and gets a natural one. And he takes his mace and goes, <clears throat> and it flies behind him. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Um, now it's Iris' turn. That's your unsettling visit. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck, man, that really hurt. Um... <laughs> you say that to the guy. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Just like oh, calmly God, under your man, breath, really too. Ah, you just got like man. destroyed, yeah. and you're like, ooh. How are these two dudes doing? <laughs> Ouch. That was How are a they spicy two doing? Stab. One looks, they both look damaged. One has a dagger and magic missiles in the back of it, though. Cool. Um, I'm going to attack that dude. Okay. Uh, but I'm only going to attack him once because I want to save my bonus action. Okay. So. Uh, and that's a 15. Okay. Does that hit? Uh, it does. That's pretty good. That's nine damage. Okay. Uh, does it happen to take him down? Uh, they both slam into you, and you uh take out your dagger and you stab it in the neck of this guy and he dies. <clears throat> I'll stick it up and I'll just kind of, uh, I'll just kind of look at that guy mm -hmm. and just like, you know, this seems to happen a lot with me. Um, hey, why don't you guys come rope this guy up and I'm just going to like stand in front of the door. Okay. Um, Seymour. All right. Uh, so after hearing that, what did you say exactly? Uh, rope him up. Like oh, we, rope need to, up. we need to capture one of them. Guess what I don't have. Rope? Yeah. Do you want to? Um, can I try to like, uh, like okay. slash at his calves so that he like can't walk, but without killing him? Sure, I'm gonna increase his armor class. That's fine. All right, go ahead. Uh, you would be flanking. Okay, I'm gonna be able to. Can I? Can I get with this distance? Like, am I gonna be close? Yeah, you can make it your way over there. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do you know two attacks just in case the first one misses. All right, uh, that's a not natural 20 and a 8. Roll damage on the first one. You have advantage. I, I do. You're flanking, yep. All right. <laughs> so that was your sword. That's your That's dagger. That's a natural 20. Oh, oh shit! Okay. Roll a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, all right, remember, trying not to kill him, so... Okay. Yeah. Oddly Actually, enough, okay. oddly oh. enough, I don't know why, the book says after you roll damage for any attack, you can determine whether you want it to be mm -hmm. lethal or non-lethal, but that's kind of dumb, so. 
Okay. I'm assuming you want it to be non lethal. Yes. Okay. Uh, would be seven. Uh, yeah, you jab your uh, your sword into his foot, and uh, you completely snap the tendon in the back of it, and he's just, he falls down to one knee. Okay. Um, and do you want me to keep rolling? Yeah, roll damage. Uh, as a note, once we get to the pantry, it does look like there's a way out in the pantry. Yeah, I'll do that when I get to it. Okay. All right. Just my like don't 20. skip my turns. Uh, is two damage because I don't add my well, uh, proficiency right and for you, my dex modifier. Yep, and you uh, slice through his leg even more, and he is completely immobilized. He's just sitting there. Just. Okay. <laughs> do you have the rope? Uh, t- it's. <laughs> Look over, and it's, it's hanging, hanging on. on. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there. Um, uh, I've got rope. Ari. I'll be right there. No, you won't. Uh, These guys are really involved. Touch or er, uh, inflict wounds. Inf- oh. Roll down. Oh, roll down. Fuck. Please. <laughs> Which I see rolling. One of mine. You're not rolling my special secret. Yay! Yay. Crit. Crit. Oh, yeah. damn! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the dice gods have heard your pleas. Um, so that's, uh, 16. Hey, man. We're a monotheistic yeah. Christian channel. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus has heard you, please. <laughs> the, the, the dice, uh, uh deus. Um, uh, Ex machina. 20. Yeah. <laughs> that's, just dice uh, deus. 24 necrotic damage. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness! I'm coming! No, you won't! Boop! <laughs> And then I'll pull up my rope and I'll use my movement to go over there. You walk through his bloody mist that you make (laughs) over. I'm really glad you don't ever see fit to do that to one of us. Jesus Christ. I don't know why you would, but... Chaos bolt, chaos bolt. Bloody explosion. I must admit, it is a bit scary that you can just touch someone and blow them up. Oh, that should have been more damage, but oh well. (laughs) Get four health. Get four health. Huh? He exploded. No, it should have been 8d10. But... Oh, okay. oh my Jesus goodness. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Mycroft, where are you headed? I used to uh, to the cupboard. Spells. Uh, the cupboard? Or, sorry. The You're place currently where... in the laundry room. Uh, down, how far is that? Are these Each five? square is five foot. Okay. Uh, I can, can I get there without a dash? I don't know where I am in this room. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, to 30, that 30. back door. Uh, just into that room. Uh, yeah, the far south room, the spite, the room. Yeah, the, once the I get in spices. there, I want to, I want to take an action. Y- sure. Uh, All right, I, you get in there and say, what are, what are we doing in here? I'm going to make an attack roll, non-lethal. Oh. Okay, okay. And I can use my rapier, right? Are we going with that, or are we going you with... You can, you're just using the hilt of it, though. Okay. So, make that attack roll. Uh, that is... 17. Give me one second, as I get this guy's stat block. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure a 17 hits. Roll, da- roll okay. the damage. Jacob's like, He's the a, one thing I didn't think I would need today. No board, oh, no, right? Okay. Nine. Nine. Um, all right. You bring him in, he's what? what are we doing in here? <laughs> and he falls under the ground. Okay. <clears throat> That's the end of my turn. Um, that thug is on the ground. He's going to try and stab you, Ira, with his mace. He's still gonna stab me? Stab you with his mace, you know, yes. like you do. Uh, and he gets a 10 and a 12, and nope. he misses. Um, Ira, it's your turn. All right, at this point, he's incapacitated. You've done your thing. We are out of combat. Oh, okay. uh, just cut, come over and tie, tie, tie him up. Yeah. I will tie him up. All right, you tie him up. I'll tie mine up hey, too. I forget. Do you have any healing magic? Yep. Boop. Oh, thank you. Can I turn into that lady that I saw at the you're top? The, you're the best. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's who I am now. You transform into her. Takes me back up above half. Good. Oh, okay. I don't feel like I'm about to pass out anymore. Th- thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, as I double check this stuff really quick, what are you guys doing? Um, tying the dude up. How far away from home are we? I don't remember. Um, you are. Got the map right here. 
So I don't I don't know where Minecraft is, but we need to get this guy back back to the home. I'm dressed as a lady now. Yeah, but I saw you transform. You see a noble woman. Yeah, but I saw him transform yeah. come in. Um, we need to get this guy back to the tavern, and we can interrogate him there. Okay. Do are we not looking for the uh, the for, nimble right? It's a thing. To, I'll pull the thing out. Is it working? Nope. It's not working. Uh, this guy might know. Maybe. It's. Uh, okay. I guess we don't have a lot more time here. Soon, once the guards get hurt, the city guard do, do come. We don't have a reason to be here. We need to go. Okay. I'll try and throw the, the, the guard off with the disguise. I'm going to gag my guy with the rope, too, not just... Okay, you gag That's right. There was there was a guard, wasn't there? Yeah, he, he needs to not see us. A ten-minute walk is the, is your house. It's okay. Troll Skull Alley. Uh, Jacob, when I acrobatics down, was that guard still there at the door with the dogs? No, he's no. gone. I he's asked. Gone. Okay, okay. That's not the guard that I mean. The city guard that ran through. He needs to not oh, know that okay. we were here. I don't know if I saw him. Mm. Uh, I'll pick up this dude. Okay, pick him up. <laughs> hey, can one of you knock him out? Hmm? Could one of you knock him out? Bop. Um, and then uh, using the darkest, shadowy back alleys I can find. I'm going to walk him back to the tavern. Okay. How are you getting... You get him over the wall, here, and you have to... Damn, I forgot about that. Is the gate locked? The, the, the front gate? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll take uh, the rope that she had, and I'll pull our rope down. Okay. And I'll tie the grapple to that rope, and when uh, when we all get up there, we'll need to Wait, stay... How are you pulling your rope down? Is it not on our side? Yeah, it's grappled on your side. You guys didn't. Oh my god. Me, Chan. <laughs> <You're not good. laughs> um, and I'll tie it. Okay. Uh, the grapple to her rope, and I'll. Come so, on, so it like, on the floor on the other side of the wall. So it's like he's tied up, and then with the excess, because it doesn't take fifty feet of rope to tie him up, it'll hook. And then, okay, so what we'll do is all three, of us, all three of us will get to the top here, and then at the top, we'll all pull him up. Cause, and I'll tie it, because he's already tied. Mm -hmm. And so we, it's just like pulling up a barrel. And then we'll just drop him on the other side, and then we can carry him back to the tavern. Okay. I can't believe someone agreed to one of my plans. <laughs> I'll climb up. All right, you climb up. Uh, I assume I need to roll. You need, you're going to pull him up? I'm going to climb up to the top and then wait for them to come up and all three of us are going to do it together. Are we waiting for Mycroft? I, ah, shit, where is he? I, uh, last I saw inside. Uh, could you go find him? Because you can... Both of you can. Uh, I mean, if they see me and they just saw the lady before, they're going to know something's up. Okay, well, one of you should stay behind to find him and then I, need, I, I won't be able to lift him up myself. Uh, I mean, I think you're the stronger one. <laughs> you do it. No. I'm gonna go find him. What? Okay. A... All right, you got the weaker one of the twins. That's fine. I just need a little bit of help. So, are you gonna climb up and help me? Sure. Do you want athletic you athletics. Both of you roll up. athletics. Okay. Oh my god! I actually rolled well for this. I was, uh, it's always it's a fifteen. Things. Uh, twenty-one. Yeah, you both hoist him up. And then... <laughs> he lands on the other side. And then I'll... All right, and you guys make your way down. All right. Do you want to go back and check and I can just walk him? Uh... Or do you want to come with me? I'll, I'll go with you. I'm going to okay. switch back into Uncle Ben. And the two of us will take the dark way back. You make a stealth check. Both? Uh, are you going back to the... No, I'm going with him. You're going, yeah, both of you are stuff. Uh, maybe you should take your own route, because I, I know the shadow's better than you do. All right, if I'm not back there a few minutes after, then you know that something's gone wrong. Okay, don't get lost. <laughs> I won't. Uh, okay. That's a 19. Okay. It's a 7. All right, you begin to make your way. You um, duck between alleyway, waiting. Guards kind of walk by. You wait. You make your way over. Eventually, um, and uh, me you carrying see, the dude. Yep, and you you move through alleyways and buildings, um, uh, crossing against people, and, a, and a, you make your way to the front door of your tavern. It's currently closed. And I'll go into the back door. You, you go through the back. Are you going up to your room? Yeah. All right, and you go up to your room. 
you're walking back home. Do 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 do. A couple of guards see you. They're like, "What are you doing out here, old man?" Oh, I'm looking for strawberries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go. All right. Actually, you make it back to. Someone take him to a home. <laughs> <laughs> Get the paddy away. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for strawberries. <laughs> uh, you make your way back to Troll School Manor. Okay. I'm going to cut you guys there, come back yeah, to totally. you two. Uh, Mycroft, what do you I'm think? not wasting any time because I heard her shout, mm -hmm. the city guard is coming. Correct. So I'm going to shift just as black as I was before, but this time very, very gaunt and thin and one foot taller. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... Like, cover my body in gaping mouths with jagged teeth. Okay, then. So you want to look like Pride from... You, you look know? terrifying. More like Venom if you tried. <laughs> um, okay, you, you look terrifying. Just to ward off anyone who's like, Hey, why is that man carrying a body? Hey, why is that thing from my nightmares eating that man? Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to make my way back to Froon's Bruise. Oh. So you leave and you go to Froon's Bruise? Yes. Okay, make a stealth check. Can I have advantage because I'm super shadowy? No, you're carrying a body. Okay. It's much harder. Okay, yeah. Nine. more eyeballs. Okay. You're making your way back. You're taking this dude along the street. A bunch of, a group of four guards see you. Like, stop! What are you doing? Who's that? Um, like, oh no, it's a monster! Kill it! <laughs> and they all start running after you. Okay, I'm going to run too and use my rogue action to dash. Okay, where are you running to? Uh, just to lose them, so through alleyways, and then once I find a good enough distance, I'm going to go into a manhole. Alright. Um... I have to do a chase. Okay. So roll initiative. Okay. Four. Jeez. They're all going first. Do oh, I need to roll as well? Are you with him? No, but I was actively looking for him. No. You can't find him. Okay, then, um, I, then I will give up, and I will go home. Oh, so you're just leaving? If I can't find him, I'm just going to assume he, he left on his own and make my way back to the... As you search the entire place, you, you find no trace of my Alright, I'm going to try to... I'm just going to casually walk home, try not to look suspicious. Alright, yeah, you don't look suspicious at all. <sighs> they all run over to you. Okay. Uh, and they're all going to try and apprehend you. Um, but you're like this monster, so they're going to attack you. Um, can I do something in ways of intimidation? Because that's what I was going for. Uh, you Sure, roll intimidation. Okay. Eight. You're, uh, like you're a monster. Yeah. They're, they're used to fighting you. If you're like a group of commoners, you'd be like, ah! But yeah, these, they're armed, they're ready to fight. Uh, let me get the guards. This game would be so much cooler if everything just succeeded. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It'd be silly to miss then. It's <laughs> Logan's favorite game. Yeah. yeah everything succeeded. Why would you like it so much? Oh, come on. Yes, I need the stats for Mert. Um, they're all going to fire crossbow bolts at you. Okay. I can find the freaking part of the book. This is a part I'm editing out. <laughs> so I find a lot of these. Like 
quiet moments or what? Yeah, just like dead air. <sighs> well, this is the end of Mycroft. Yeah, well, I really hope not. But Could none be. of us know where you are and we just assume you went home, so... Well, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> It'll take a bit of time for us to find you. I'll read the newspaper. Before. Mm -hmm. Monster that turned into man <laughs> dies. <laughs> Nightmare dies, turns into nobleman. Mm -hmm. I'll go down in history books as the stupidest creature alive. <laughs> <laughs> that would like kill Mycroft, wouldn't it? If that was what he was like famous for, was like, yes. stupidity. Yes. You are known as the the owner of Spectre and Spirits, though, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Co-owner. Yeah. Co-owner. Here we go. Yay. Did you message me something? No, I was going to show you something, but... Okay. It'd be too much to try to do while we're recording and show you later. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> the town guard are going to be stupid powerful. Yeah, they, they always are, are in these yeah. games. They all fire crossbow bolts at you. There's okay. four of them. Sixteen. Natural one. Oh. Eighteen. And twelve. Uh, three of them hit. That is eighteen piercing damage. Eighteen piercing damage? Okay, hold on. Where are you, my friend? Your d12, your uh, sustain the dice thing. Sustain the damage. Four. Four! So, how much damage? It was 18? 18, so 14. I take 14. Alright, so one of the bolts just uh, clinks off like iron. Mm -hmm. And then, is it my turn? Uh, yes. I'm gonna drop ball bearings. Okay, you drop ball bearings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they begin to scatter all over the ground. And <clears throat> uh, make a run, make a dash for the nearest turn using my bonus action. Okay, you dart your way into an alleyway. Um, you can dash, mm -hmm. however, you do have this guy over your shoulder. You can carry a bunch of weight, right? Yeah, um, I count as double my shot. size. Yeah, that's fine. It's not, not hard. All right, they're all going to run after you. The ball bearings need to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, a creature moving across these must make a DC 10 saving throw or fall prone. Anything moving makes uh, half speed. Okay, yeah. so you move half speed. Mm -hmm. uh, that one succeeds. That one succeeds. Well, succeeds. Wow, they all rolled incredible. Uh, they move half speed to try to not step on them, and then and they I'm continue to run um, down the the hallway, your uh, the alleyway. You're about sixty feet away from them. They're still going to try and attack you with the crossbow. Um, Fourteen. Fifteen. Seven. Nineteen. They're like, uh, drop that man. I'm down. All right. You uh, fall unconscious. Um, in the last moments here, you're kind of laying there as everything goes um, hazy. Uh, they're all ringing bells and blowing whistles as they kind of run, uh, make their way over to you. The guards kind of stand over you as they look down and you fade out from consciousness. And that's where we're going to take our break. So we'll be back in about 15, a second for you. So. <laughs> Yeah, Do one whole second. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So, you all, uh, Ira, you are in the in Troll School um, Manor, Spirits and Specters. Wait, you wait, you wait. The door opens, mm -hmm. and you see an old man walk in. Oh, finally. Uh, have you heard from, uh, from Ari? I haven't been... seen anyone. Oh, boy, all right. Um, I'm going to go, is the guy still knocked out? <laughs> I'll go and I'll toss him into like one of the bathrooms and I'll close the door. You toss him in the bathroom. I'm gonna go see if I can find anything. Alright, uh, I think I'll keep an eye on him, I guess. Yeah, do that and I'll go look looking around. 
how far away are you moving from uh, the drill store? Uh, look down, the, like there's a street that goes. I'll look around the block, basically. On the map, there's your street literally just goes down to Grawlhun Villa, so you can just watch that street if you want. That's what I'll do. All right, you're watching the street. You notice there's a lot of guards about. Um, they're moving here and there. They're making their way down. You figure, oh shit, they all got called. Um, as one of them, uh, as one of them's going, I'll say, uh, excuse me, sir, what, what's going on down there? Huh? What, what's, what's going on? Should, None of your should, business, citizen. Well, should, 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 should I avoid over there then? Yes. And keep walking. Goodness. Out of an alleyway, you see Ari. Oh, okay. Hello. Well, where's Mycroft? I thought he made his way back on his own. No, I haven't seen him. Um, that's not good. Uh, where's my brother? Inside. He's watching the, the our special guest. Right. Jacob, by the way, I'm casting Unseen Servant. Okay. Uh, I'm having to prepare me a bath and then pour me some wine. <laughs> what a... Very nice. Well, he typically takes in conventional routes. Um, Is the guard still nearby? What guard? The guard that you just spoke to? No, he made his way down. Okay. A bunch of guards were going. I wonder if maybe you got caught. Uh, I... I'll pull out a, a paper bird. Okay. Um... Is... Um... You'd mentioned that with Harper Renown, they could get someone out of jail, or was that someone else? Let's check. It was uh, Force Gray. It was Force Gray? Mm-hmm. Um, Harper's can do a few things for you, I believe. Mm -hmm. How much renown do you have with them? I have three renown with the Harpers, one with Force Gray, and one with the Zentrum. Okay. God damn it. It's written here somewhere and I can't find it. That's fine. We're both Harp Shadows in the Harp. Yes. Gotcha. I'm gonna find it because it's important. Okay. All right. Oh wow, I have a lot of gold. Okay. Yes, here it is. The Harpers can um, make common and uncommon potions and scrolls available to you guys as at a reduced or deferred cost. Mm -hmm. uh, Romalia Haven Tree. Uh, feeds useful bits of information to you and might also offer you temporary shelter. If you are accosted and overwhelmed, um, you can a harper you can send out a paper bird and a harper rescue team can come in a, a round or two, including a bard, mages, spies, and veterans, and they, they just show up and they they'll fight for you. All right, but uh, they don't break anybody out. Is it force gray then? Force gray. Uh, what if we break in the jail and then send for a rescue team? Last resort. <laughs> These are surprisingly spicy. Yes, you can with Force Gray. Uh, do you remember the woman who leads Force Gray? They smell bad. <laughs> they smell bad. How do they smell? They smell uh, it. Oh. Smell the bones. Yeah, smell the bone. They smell cheesy. They smell bad. Was it, uh, uh, what's the, what's the black staff? The... Correct. We don't I don't know, know how that happened. It was, uh, uh, Bagra Safar? Bajra. Bajra. Uh, I'm going to write out a letter. Paper bird to her. Paper bird to her. Uh, explain who I am. Okay. And I would like to ask her to keep an eye out uh, for any word of a Goliath 
being brought into the gels. Okay. Um, and if she would be willing to help us uh, break him out. Okay. Uh, and then I will fold it up, say her name, and go. Flies up the window. I didn't know I was indoors. <laughs> Are we indoors? Flies away. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the tavern. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if he doesn't show soon, though, I'm going to go looking for him. Um, yeah. Mm, we'll go back. You guys go back. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't see, see more. Cast message upstairs. Are you in here? See more? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, watching the prisoner. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, you go upstairs. Yep. You open the bathroom door. <laughs> I'm not in the bath. <laughs> I had to prepare the bath. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that I could sit next to the hostage. All right. With my wine. There's a bath running, and Seymour has a glass of wine, and there's an unconscious center room on the floor of the bathroom. Are you planning on bathing him? Where's Micro? We don't, don't know. know. Mm. I uh, got in contact with Force Grey. Hopefully they'll be able to rescue him if he is imprisoned. Wait, hold on. I need to pull up the map of the... But I mean, I have no idea where he went, so... He has a stupid hat, too. Stupid hat. It lets him do what you guys do. Oh. They might not even know. I'm assuming we're probably in, like, the library. With this guy? He's in the bathroom. Or toss him in the bathroom. Specified putting him in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Which bathroom did you put him in? Uh, the closest one to the door. Okay, so on the bottom floor. Well, no, on the top floor. Like, it's on the top floor. It's just got technically it, got it, got the it. second floor. Yeah, I see it. Okay, then I'm like in that little area. Alright. We'll drag him out. We'll wake him up. Smack him. <sighs> hey there. You gonna talk or are you gonna die? What do you want with me? Why were you working with Thurston? What was his goal? Did he want the key? Did he does he have the key? Did he get taken? Why did he call for help? I don't know what key you're talking about. Do you know why Ursa called for help? He was trapped. The Quolvons had locked him away. He wanted something called a Stone of Galore. Did they have it? One of them had it. Which one? He was supposed to have it. I think the Grohans wanted to keep it for themselves. Or still, uh, he, um, well, he wanted it. And I think he was going to try and kill him. I don't know what happened. So the Grohans have the stone. So did he get the stone, do you know? No, we, he was trapped. They locked him away in his, uh, in his room and guarded him. So, uh... He set out a flying snake and uh, called all of us there, so we came and we attacked the villa. Um, then you all showed up, mm-hmm. started killing us. So why do you have me? You don't know what's going on. Who are you? Not important. You working with the Grohans? <laughs> no. You have the stone? <laughs> no. Where's Erstel? He got away. So where would he be? Perhaps we could work together and make an agreement if you guys don't have that stone. I have no idea where he gone. You guys don't have a hideout. That was a hideout. Well... I'm very confused. Yes, we do have a hideout. Though it's likely compromised. He wouldn't be there. By the Grawlhunds? Or by... It's, uh... That was a gross one. <laughs> I'm gonna start uh, writing on a paper bird. 
All right. It says... He says, we, we don't really have a hideout. We kind of live around the city and we get rounded up when to do jobs. I, I have a home, but I, we have no hideouts. We have a few, but I don't know where they are. They keep them very, very hidden. Do you know where Crystal's home is? He lived at the roll hunts. Fucking. They locked him in his room. So you don't know anything that can help us? Why did he live there? I don't know anything that's going on. I just went to go save Crystal. Are you part of the mains interim? What do you mean? There's some second group running around acting as them. Are you part of that group? With the block network. That was uh, secondary, right? I think so. I know that I still had another boss that he worked with. Do you know his name? No. I just know he was some wizard. Any more questions? You might have gone to him, but I'm not sure. Do you know where he stayed? No, he was very secretive. I'm sorry, I, I don't know much. I'm just... I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm just here to serve. Hmm. What do you guys think? You're missing one. Do you know about the yeah, Nimble Right? The Nimble Right? So what do you guys think? About? I don't think we should kill him. Oh, no, you don't have to kill me. I'll, I'll leave. I'll never join this interim again. If anyways, it's, they're compromised anyways. If the guards are all over that manor, they'll know we're there. We're all going to get arrested. We're all going to get hunted Season. down. Well, you know, if anyone lets loose the fact that we're involved in this in any way whatsoever. We would have no well, choice I but to I don't even know who you are. I don't even know where I am. Good. And you won't know where you are. And you will find yourself waking up elsewhere. And Just I knock him out again. <laughs> and we should take him somewhere. And then just take the ropes when we wake up in the gutter. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. So I'll pick him up. Could, I'm gonna... one of, could one of you take the lead and make sure that there's no guards running around outside right now? Sure. Do you want to do it? Yeah. All right, I'm going to send a paper bird to try and find Minecraft. Okay. You're going to send a bird to him? Yeah. All right. What does it say? Uh, it'll say... Minecraft, meet us at... At Fern's Bruce. Okay. Send it down. Yeah. Uh, it says. Nah, never mind. I don't think it'll matter. You make your way outside. Um, there are no guards. Cool. I'll take him about. You do at one point do see flying creature fly over. Um, it's like Griffin. Cavalry rider. Uh, he's going like down towards the Grawlhunt Villas. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll walk him down about three minutes, four minutes, and turn into an alleyway, and leave him in the alleyway. Alright. And do his bindings. Uh, well, so, I hope you can walk. Uh, what did you do? Oh, yeah, you can uh, do Well, <laughs> Lucy uh, slit his ankles open, so. Hmm. Do you have any way to heal him a little she bit? She with that memory. Yeah, I'll. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I have any spells. And then as soon as you heal him, we'll just leave. I'll use two sorcery points to regain a force, first level spell slot and cure for seven hit points. Alright. And then. To cure his. Uh, to heal his ankles. Okay, you cure him. He doesn't wake up, but you do heal him. Alright, let's go, I guess. We got everything we could get out of him. Okay. We'll go back home? Yeah. Alright, give me one second. Oh man, I'm tired. 
It is a bit late. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go to my room and lay down, take a short rest. Take a short rest. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go up into the house. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the wall. So if, if this is the door to enter, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go to the wall exactly opposite it, sit up against the wall, and just watch the door. An hour passes. Then eventually I'm sure I'll fall asleep, but when he falls asleep, he'll just fall asleep. Oh, yeah, it's like midnight. I take a long rest. Yeah. You all bathe <laughs> yep. and go to sleep. Nope. Sitting right there, just watch. Oh, no, he bathes. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll watch out the window for a while. And eventually I'll probably fall asleep. See some guards go by, but nothing insane. Nothing that catches your eye. You wake up the next morning. I open my eyes and I fell asleep on the floor. The light kind of spills into the room as it's probably somewhere around 10 to noon. Um, there's a paper bird. It. Grab it. Yeah. It reads, I'll look, though many have been arrested tonight. I have no idea who they are. I'll keep an eye out for this man. All right. uh, uh, give me one second. I'm going to head downstairs. Anyone down there? Yeah, down I'm there. like sitting up from the floor. He's sitting out here. I was watching the door and my eyes closed, I guess. Mm. I'm off on my turret. Turret? Stretch as I stand. Uh, I'm gonna... You see him? Hmm? Mycroft? No, he didn't come home. Uh, the uh, fourth grade woman got back to me. She said she'd keep an eye out for him in the, the jail system. Okay. Seymour, you get a paper bird. Oh, okay. It reads, I'm doing my best to keep you safe. Farewell, Mycroft. Alright. I'll head down. Alright. So I got a paper bird. Uh, I'm assuming from Mycroft. Uh, it's a bit of a departure letter. Departure letter? I'm gonna read it. It says, I'm doing my best to keep you safe. Farewell, Minecraft. Where is he? I don't know. I'm assuming. Captured? But yeah, maybe. I fed him off of us. Mm-hmm. Is that on the bottom floor? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well. Go open the door. You open the door. You see a few city guards, and a uh, and you see Barnabas Blastwind and Seth Cromley, uh, the two investigators. Right. Um, they uh, Barnabas looks up at you and says, "Oh." Um, we are here to, uh, ask you some questions. Right. The name of the city watch and the order of magistrators and protectors. Right. Something happened at the Grawlhund Villa down the street. I'll come up, like, beside Ari. We have reason to believe one of you may have been there. One of us? Yes. Which one of us? The, um... Are you all there? Mm-hmm. I'm upstairs. I'm low, like, okay. on the balcony. This one. What were you doing at the Grand Villa last night? Why do you think he was there? We have eyewitness accounts. I from was the Grand themselves. 
simply wandering about and something seemed wrong. And so I went to see what was going on and the Zentrum had been attacking and so I decided I was going to help out. I don't know exactly what was going on, I don't know the details, but you can ask those eyewitness accounts, I didn't harm any of them. There should be plenty of people saying that I was help that I helped in this. Not Are any of you harm. involved with the Zentrum or the Black Network? No. I call down, no, not at all. We're, we're actually Are you harboring any Zentrum here? Absolutely not. I call down. You can search the place if you'd like. We're not open, but... He nods at the guards. They begin to make their way through, and they kind of search through covers. They don't make a mess, but they just begin searching. Just know there's a ghost. He doesn't like yes. when you mess things up. I'm sure there is. Well, if you find any more Zinturim, bring them to us. There are many murders. Are, are the Grawlhuns okay? Yes. Both of them are fine. Their children? Their children are just fine. No thanks to um, your friend. Old friend. What was his name? Uh, what who owns this tavern? We uh, all own this tavern. I mean, they have to be talking about Mycroft. Yes, that was. Mm, yes. Where would he be? Unfortunate business. I'm sorry. What the guard's like, nothing, we got nothing. Right. What did Mycroft do? He was uh, charged with kidnapping and assaulting Lord Grohunt. I'm sorry. You're certain that he did that? It doesn't sound like something he would do. I'm certain. We caught him in the scene at running away. He was executed last hour. He turns and he walks away and he nods and he shuts the door. Jacob, can I roll it uh, inside or something to figure out if the, the bird I got from the the bird I got was from Mycroft. Like if the timetable would work, or it does. Okay. Paper birds wait, so it was there when you woke up. Oh, okay. So like you woke up and you're like, oh, got it. <clears throat> They're gone now. Why did yeah. he think that was a good idea? That the idiot. He's always the one talking about backup plans and always have a plan and he goes and pulls that shit without it being planned and now he's fucking dead. Fuck. I get up and I walk away. Right. I'm gonna go to the attic. You go to the attic. Does he have any, does he have any things up here? Yeah, there's uh, most of his things. There's a lockbox um, there. It's open. And okay. when you open it, it has all of his gold in it. It's about 400 gold pieces. Right, I'll just set that aside. All right. um, most everything he had, he carries on him. Uh, so most of his things aren't here. Uh, just the little comedies that he made in the attic, some books, uh, his bed, uh, other things like that. Okay. Your door slammed shut. So Andrew goes into his room. I'm assuming everyone needs time, so I'm just kind of waiting up in the attic. All right. Any of you guys have a way to disguise me? Either of you? Can you do it to yourselves? Can you do it to me? We need to go back there. He said that the Grawlhans had the stone. I'm not gonna... Maybe he figured something out. Maybe he 
John figured out that they had the stone and he tried to just do it himself. Have to go back to the Grothman villa? I mean, what else are we supposed to do? That place is going to be just a gold mine of guards right now. Yeah, but if they have the stone, we have to take the chance. Right? Like... We'd be taking on an army. We'd just be getting ourselves killed. Yes. I know I can't disguise you. Fantastic. Um. What next then? We try to find this wizard, I guess. As if by chance, you hear a like hissing and slithering. Out the side of the window to your room, you see a flying snake. It has a uh, note attached attached to its uh, its uh, body. Take the note. Slithers in, then it slithers out. I'll take the note and read it. It says. I would like to know more about what happened at Gralhund Villa. If you can spare the time, meet me at Ang Heron's statue at the City of the Dead at High Sun tomorrow. You'll be paid generously for your time and trouble. From Istrid Horn. Have I ever heard that? Ye make a history check. Ang who's? Uh... I think it's a Herons? Herons. H A R E N. H A J H A I R O N S. What was the name of the guy? A Herons. Istrid Horn. Oh, is that the dude on the boat? No. No. Let me go history check them. Uh, and that's a natural 20. Yes. Istrid Horn, you remember, is uh, I wrongly described in the episode where uh, Mycroft went to go talk to. Um, uh, the guy uh, who was working with the Zentrin, I said she was a half-orc. She was not. She was a dwarf. This is uh, the woman who has been a Zentrin agent, who has been uh, ushering in um, Mycroft and kind of been like uh, somebody who's just kind of been there in the background. This half-orc we met in the first game. Uh, no, it's not a half-orc. Uh, it's a dwarf. Oh. But it's still the dwarf. It's the dwarf we met in the first game. In the first game, that was a different half. Different, different half. Okay. Yeah, and then throughout the Zentrim um, faction quest line, this woman has been there accepting letters, sending out the letters, and also um, being like, "You're looking for what's his face? Got He's it. over here." All right, I guess we should go. Just no, get this. Maybe they know who this person, this wizard is. What time did it say to me that? Uh, City of the Dead at High Sun tomorrow. High Sun tomorrow. I don't have a day. All right, um, I don't know. Let's just let's do something. I don't give a shit what. Jacob, can I roll history to know if like, we have any other leads other than the wizard? Yeah, sure. Just because I'm, I'm not following too well. As I get a million notifications. There's the talking mayor, right? <laughs> yeah. The talking mayor? The har- that's, a har- the- that's a hard request. Are you sure? Yeah. I thought it was a horse. <laughs> I thought it was a talking mayor. Uh, a mayor is a horse. Yeah, but it's mayor, right? No, M- oh, no. A- M- M-R-E. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the opposite that yes. I did. I thought it was, they were saying that the mayor was being used as a figurehead. No. <laughs> like, the talking mayor, yeah. Um, make a history check. Okay. Nine. Um, it's not that hard. I'm going to give you a refresher. Okay. Let me write it down. Just so you guys can understand what the scope of the situation is so you're not confused. Lord Daggle to never remember secretly has a treasure hoard hidden away in the city of Waterdeep. Raynar informed you, who's his son, Mm-hmm. Daggle it was ousted as a lord. He's no longer lord of Waterdeep. He's now a lord of Neverwinter. His son, Raynar, still lives in Waterdeep and has many friends, nobles, allies, and whatnot. 
Raynar knows about the gold. He doesn't necessarily care about it. He knows that there is this thing called the Stone of Galore that acts as the key to it. It's almost like it knows where the treasure is. The stone has been tossed around between factions, the Zentrum, the Xanathar Guild, everywhere. It was picked up by Dalakar, a rock gnome who, spy who uh, worked for Daggle Neverember. He wanted to entrust it with somebody that could protect it. You guys... Back up. Sorry, sorry. Who, who had the stone? You said a gnome? A gnome named Dalakar had the stone. Dalagar? Dalakar. Dalakar. Dal you keep going, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Dalakar wanted to make sure the stone was somewhere safe. Okay. You all had just rescued Raynar, so he figured you would be the best to trust. He came to you with the stone. A fireball killed him. The stone disappeared. You guys figured out the, the fireball was exploded by a nimble right with a fireball... Um, uh, necklace. Mm -hmm. You don't know where the nimble right came from. The stone was taken by Erstal Floxen. Erstal escaped to the Grawlhund villa. The Grawlhunds, according to uh, this uh, other guy that you had, turned against Erstal and decided we want the f we want the stone. They locked Erstal away, likely took it, did something with it, and uh, there was an, a war uh, at the Grawlhund Villa where Zentarim were attacking uh, the Grawlhunds. The Grawlhunds are still alive, Erstal has escaped, and nobody knows where the stone went. Okay. Do we not know where the stone is because we just never found it at the villa? Correct. Okay. You are aware. Oh, we know that the the Grawlhunds the, the Grawlhunds were the last one left. It was there. Okay. You remember getting to the Grawlhund villa, the nimble right detector going off the entire time while you were there, then suddenly it went out. A lead I could give you to be a, uh, a decision your characters would think of to be like, we could try to do this, is to try to locate that nimble right. And all you do is have to scan the city to try to find it. Fresh air would be good. What? Go, I'll go use this fucking thing. Maybe it'll find something. There hasn't been any help so far. Should we search around the villa? No. It stopped working there. I just don't think there's anything there now. Alright. I don't know where, but mm, let's, I mean... We're just gonna have to search again like we did before. Just wander around, I guess. I don't know. Alright. You guys set out to uh, locate the symbol right, to talk to Istrid, and to discover where the next track takes you. And that's where we're going to end today's game. It was a heavy game. Uh, a lot of loss, a lot of crap that happened. Uh, Logan will still be playing, hopefully next week. We'll see. But uh, thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week. Everybody levels up! These all right. are all level four. Are we doing that now? Uh, go ahead and roll those hit dice. What a happy note to end on. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Yay. Seven. Nice. D6, add it to your health. Come on, six. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. 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 Uh, what are, wizards are D6? Yes, yeah. it is. All right. Let's pray. Four. Cool. But cool. I have a constitution plus two. All right, you guys level up, get some more health, and ready to continue your adventure. We'll see you guys next week. Um, new episodes every Sunday, uploaded around noon. Um, so thanks for joining us. Um, we'll see you again. And that's the end of the stream. Bye bye. This wasn't a stream. That's the end of the recording. <laughs> <laughs>